All right, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's Burke, aka Dansquake here, and welcome to the first live live stream of 2023 on the channel. We are back with some more Blitzball, so I'm going to continue the challenge that I started at the end of last year, in which I created an absolutely monstrous team for the original Besaidoros to try to defeat. So we had a lot of fun last time. A lot of drama, a lot of excitement, a lot of heartbreak. And this time I'm gonna see if I can do it. So it was definitely a very, very tough game, like the hardest matchup I've ever faced in Blitzball. But it is definitely possible. What I did show you guys last time, that it was definitely possible. And we had some very, very close moments where if the RNG went our way, we could have got the win. And well, to be honest, if I did cheat a little bit, and swim behind the goalkeeper, we could have also got the win. But we're going to try to do it legitimately once again. And this live stream session will be like my final attempt because I don't want to kind of do this, um, recycle this kind of live stream format too many times. I think it's definitely worth one more try. And hopefully over the next two or three hours, I will be able to defeat these guys. And maybe sooner if the RNG smiles down upon us. So welcome to everybody in the chat. Thank you for joining me once again. Lots of familiar names as always. Hope you guys are having a good day slash evening. Well, and so I think without much further ado, I will fire it up and we'll have our first attempt. For those people who might have missed the first session or like the preparatory video that I made for this content, I'll quickly set things up here and explain things. So we're gonna try to make those go as goners in the session and hopefully it works. Now, the thing that kind of worked well in the last session, people who are watching uh, will remember, is that actually switching around some of these players' positions ended up being a little bit more useful to us. And interestingly enough, it was actually Datto who ended up being like a bit of a, almost like a battering ram to, to get me through uh, the defenses. Because he has such a high endurance stat, he's actually the highest, um, is he the highest? Yeah, he's the highest endurance stat of the entire team. And as a result, he's more able to dribble with the ball and actually get past defenders. So Datto had a, had a really good run in the last session. So I'm planning on also making him like a defensive player once again. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna set things up in a bit of an unorthodox way. And immediately once the session ended, I had a second idea, which I'll get into in a second. So. I'm going to actually start with Letty here. Um, I'll explain this as I go. So first of all, let me set everybody up and then I'll try to explain why I put players in this position because this game is so hard that it's requiring me to kind of think outside the box a little bit to potentially try and get a win. So this is what we're going to go for here. And there's a, there's a, there's a good reason for all of this. At least in theory. I mean, it, it might go horribly wrong, but this is how we're going to play it. So the reason we're going to do it like this is because, well, one thing I remember is that brother, who of course picks up the ball early on, his endurance stat isn't that fantastic. So I figured if my midfielder is someone who has a high tackling stat, I might be able to strip the ball off brother a bit more easily in the middle. And so his passing stat isn't too bad. It's a seven. So I feel like maybe having Jasu in the middle might be a good call. And well, of course, the reason why Datto is playing in this position is basically trying to get him to dribble the ball up along the side and then pass it to Waka after we bait out the defender and then have Waka be one-on-one -on -one with Nimruk and see if the RNG works in our favor. So, so that's the general kind of idea here. And hopefully this will work. Sarah Wells, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. And James with the five gift memberships as well. That's awesome. Congratulations to Dragon, Marco, David, Daryl, and Psychosm. <laughs> enjoy, the, enjoy the memberships and the badges and all the cool emojis that we have for the community. Cotillion in the house as well. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. And it's also cool to see that 75% of us have victory as the goal tonight. That's good to see. Awesome stuff. Okay. Let me show you guys who we're facing. In case you've missed things so far, I'm going to have a kind of brief look at the All-Stars that we're facing here. So we'll quickly kind of go through their stats one, once more, just so you can remember. And another caveat here is that I deliberately added some of their most horrible moves um, 
as their text. So some of some of the players can have text like Blapper. He has five tackling, and I gave him nap tackle, which you can do a standard. But um, ordinarily, the game doesn't select it. But this makes him even more difficult because he can, of course, strip the ball more easily because he has potentially eight tackling instead of five. So he becomes even more horrible with that. Uh, Velucha, she literally has no other ability, I think, um, other than with a shot three, a standard, which you can't even use. So it's a bit strange. But because she's so low level, thankfully, we don't have to deal with any um, techs. But... You can see that 14 shot, and you guys were seeing in the last session, she was just scoring from the halfway line. It was just insane, so she's going to be doing more of that. And of course, you guys saw Brother being an absolute menace in the last session. That speed is just horrible. The passing, the shooting, the blocking, the six tackling, all of it is just horrific. And he was just an absolute menace. He could, he could like single-handedly take over a game and dominate. But like I say, I put Jasu in midfield because he's got 8 endurance and Jasu has 10 tackling. So I'm hoping that might be a bit of a nice countermeasure against Brother and his speed. So we'll see. Michaels, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. And yeah, defensively, we've got uh, Rop, who's a beast. And once again, I gave Rop Brawler. And you guys were seeing how many times that came into effect. It was absolutely ridiculous the amount of times where he seemed completely out of it and he basically just teleported into the encounter was just horrific and so Rop is just annoying and a nuisance as well then we have Caillou who I gave elite defense to and he has 15 tackling which is just way more than the endurance of any of my players and well Nimrod needs no introduction and no explanation so that's the team that we're going to be facing here and we'll see what we can do okay let's go for it and have our first attempt here He could have won last stream. He had hidden behind the garbage. He has like honor or something, whatever. <laughs> yeah, we've got to do this the, the honorable way. Let's see. Okay, so Jasu grabbing the ball in midfield from a blitz off is kind of surreal to me, but that's good. And well, the first bit of good RNG has already happened. We actually started with the ball, so that's already a good sign. So let's see. For me, the tactic that's always been the one that's most likely to lead to results has been to try and bait out the defender and leave the attacking player one-on-one -on -one with the keeper because Walker obviously his endurance is low enough that he can't really ride many tackles and so we need him to have a free shot he needs to be right up in front of Nimruk and have a free shot and that's the only way he can really do anything so Datto now he's gonna he's gonna show us what a battering ram he is so we're literally just baiting out brother right now and getting him out of the way. There's absolutely no way, like it's mathematically impossible for him to for him to take the ball there. So that's good. Now we can just kind of wait, just like chill and let Blapper catch us. Get him out of the way as well. So this is something that the other defenders just can't do. And this is why I'm relying on Datto to try and do this for me uh, in this match. So that's the that's the general goal. Obviously, it kind of makes the team a bit of a glass cannon in that sense because obviously Datto can't defend at all. So, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be interesting. But then again, the, the team is so good that even when you have your normal, like regular defenders there, it's not really going to make that much difference. Most of the time, they're not strong enough anyway. So, there's our nap tackle. It's theoretically, he could get it here, but it's a very low chance. So still okay but they're being very defensive right now and yeah you can see so Rob was slightly kind of outside the circle but he zooms in now the other problem with using Datto in this position is that he has four passing so that means that I have to stay relatively close to Waka otherwise I won't be able to actually make the pass and it would be pointless so we're going to try to break here because of course he has 15 block so we have to hope that his endurance is high enough here. And there you go. Already some bad RNG. So from here onwards, we're basically at the mercy of RNG and what the game decides to do with its moves. So we shall see. But already, Rock with 11 tackling took the ball from Datto, who had 12 endurance. And that's just outrageous. That pass with 10 making it all the way across there, that's just that is scandalous. But now Jasu in midfield here, maybe he gets the ball. Ugh, 
That was terrible. Wow. This is a bad start. But you're seeing the tactic there. If Jesu had done a good job... Oh, wow. That's a good block. If Jesu had done the right thing there, we would have been able to take the ball just with him. Okay. So... Belucha did something very stupid there and allowed us to get the ball back, which I'm not complaining about at all. And the tactic doesn't change. We pretty much have to just keep trying to to do it this way because there is no other way to score other than for Waka to be right next to, to Nimrod and shoot. There's just no other option. So we it has to be the, the Datto and Waka show here. Now, Rop might come out and leave Waka free here. Yeah, he's gambled. Okay. If this pass makes it, Waka has a potential run at goal here. Let's see. Because of Rob's broader ability, he'll probably catch us. But I'll have to gamble. Sometimes you just have to let Rob make the tackle and just hope that you can get there. But unfortunately, Brother's going to catch me. No. Yeah, he's going to get there. He's such an asshole. No. And this is purely Brother's speed here that was the problem. If Brother had regular speed, I could have made it all the way to the goal and just had Rob to deal with, but he's just too quick. This is park the bus football. <laughs> Soak in the pressure and wait for your forwards to get behind the lines and launch it. <laughs> oh damn, we've got Sausage in the chat as well. The RNG god himself. Okay. I feel a little bit more confident now. So, for me at least, when I've started to play games of this difficulty of Blitzball, you have to start to think about things like deliberately losing the ball to certain players. And so here, instead of having Brother take the ball, so if I just try to do this, he might ride the first challenge and then Brother strips the ball, but I'm going to deliberately give it to Rop by passing here, because I'd rather he took the ball than, um, than Brother. So when we do lose the ball, we're going to try and make sure we lose it to less dangerous players. Because brother can literally just swim all the way to the other end and score. So, I'm going to try and do that. Oh crap, I actually caught you live in, one of the, in, in of the 24, instead of 24 hour stream. Yes. I don't stream that frequently. It's something I'm definitely going to try and do more of this year. Um, it won't be like super regular still, but I'll definitely be trying to do more streaming in 2023. But now it's looking a bit more dangerous because these guys won't be able to tackle him. Oh, wow, he's shooting already. Okay. As you guys have seen before, 13 shot from halfway is usually enough to score a goal. So we might be going 1-0 down here. Brother is a weird bird, but a speedy blitz player. He is rapid. Yeah. So Keeper with his five catch, uh, that was a four. So Keeper's underperforming. In the last session... He was absolutely terrible for a large majority of it. But you see, I basically did nothing wrong there. There was there was nothing I could have done. Just too good. And that's why this challenge is difficult. Now, once again, they have been very aggressive. And Brother is all the way on the other end of the sphere ball. I feel like if I give it to Waka now, even Brother won't be able to catch me. So I might just try to break the line here, get it to Waka. He's behind the halfway line, so there's no offsides. Even if this was football, he's behind the halfway line, so he's cool. So I'm going to make a break for it here. I'm hoping, watch brother. Look at how quick he is. Look at him. He's a missile, but even he didn't manage to get in. So we need to break Rop here. And then get a shot on goal. Let's see. Keeper's underperforming. Story of his life. Tell me about it, man. Okay, let's see. No. Rop has been absolutely beasting and feasting already. He's just taking the ball at will at the moment. Fire Fancy 10 is my favorite Fire Fancy. It's the first Fire Fancy I've ever played, so special to me. I know exactly how you feel. Brother has the schmoobs. <laughs> Sausage is a secret summon with the overdrive R in Jesus. For sure. It would be a little bit anticlimactic if I won on the first attempt. So we are going to have to build towards it a little bit here. 
I swear there's more pieces to RNG puzzle. Keeper did catch two multiple times last session, but have we seen him do seven a single time? I don't think we saw him pull a seven at all. Um, it, it should be possible according to the RNG. I just think we've been unlucky. Damn, James Lyons with the Dark Anima badge. Member for 42 months. That's wild. It's kind of hard to believe that memberships have even been around for that long. It's just time flies, man. Feels like it's only been like 18 months or something since we had memberships available. But you've got people out there that have been members for over four years. It's insane. Six more and he's a maester. Yeah, he'll be a machin. Machin is our highest level um, badge at the moment. See, this is cheap here. I didn't actually realize this. Thankfully, he didn't break here. Come on, surely we got... No, come on. The, the five... Get out of here. I will reset if this happens. There's no fucking way. Oh! Wow. Okay, that was some very strange RNG happenings there. What the hell just happened there? Jesu and Waka both totally missed the block. And Keeper pulled out a big save. Whoa. Was that a seven? I, I couldn't see the, the shot stat. Was that a seven that he saved? We were literally just talking about it. Holy shit. That was outrageous, though, from, from Brother. Literally, two of my players completely missing the block. That's ridiculous. Six. Okay. Hey, still got to give him credit for the six. That's that's still a big-time save. That's clutch. Wow. Whew. Okay. That was a spicy start to the half. Wow. <laughs> Brother, man. I hate that guy. Yeah, not even a hand on it. The dude just straight up... What a, okay. Keeper came to play today. That's a good sign. I think Keeper knows that Sausage is in the stands watching this one. He wants to do him proud. <laughs> Keeper heard us yell at him. 100%. Okay, come on, Rop. Can't go too far here. Yeah, there you go. Once again, he teleports in. Now... The last time it was this situation, he took the ball. He took an 11-11 as well. I think surely we're due a, a bad ROP effort here. Come on. That's ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. <sighs> yeah, Titus isn't on the team because, weirdly enough, he just the, for what we need for this team to succeed, he just doesn't really offer enough. Um, because it's reset data, um, he doesn't have the ability to use um, sphere shot or jack shot so that's why he's not useful on this team and well he can't pass he can't tackle so he's just generally not that useful but yeah this attempts oh he passed well but yeah Velucha is just going to shoot now the only thing with Velucha is I do still have one solid defender in Botta um, and so he could sometimes be clutch and get the ball but no you see when Rop tackles he always tackles as much as he should or even more but when Botta needs to tackle for some reason, it's just, no. So they're toying with us now. Lackstrat, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. But yeah, we got completely destroyed here. This, this, The RNG of this half has been atrocious. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Brain trust in the house, indeed. Yeah, Nida is a, she is a very quick um, defender, but... For this, the reason she's effective at, at lower levels is because of the abilities she can use. Like her tackling stat isn't actually all that great, but she has very good abilities that can add kind of bonuses to it. But she doesn't make this particular team. I, I think Rop and Caillou are just a better at base stats. Keeper caught his one goal of the evening. It's a shame that Keeper used his good RNG in a match where we ended up just getting completely out RNG'd in every other aspect. That was like the one shining star moment in a sea of bad RNG. Again, Rop came out absolutely nowhere here. Absolutely nowhere. Yikes. Ooh, finally Rop actually underperformed there in a major way. So we got lucky here. This was good RNG. And it actually cleared the path, but they pulled back really well here. So I don't think Waka has a run to the goal without getting swamped. Let's see. 
Who is this? It's brother, that's fine. But yeah, Caillou, you can see, he's pointed towards me, so I don't think this is going to work. But this game's over anyway, so we don't need to kind of think too hard about this one. These games that have kind of gone, um, they're a good excuse for me to check back in with the chat and stuff as well. So We'll take this first game through to the end anyway. Maybe I get lucky here. Nope. When the game is bad, keep RNG good. Yep, that's how it's been going, unfortunately. We just need, like, all of the pieces to fall into place. Yeah, just get the ball and shoot like crazy just doesn't work against Nimrok, unfortunately. You have to be very close to him to have even, like, a 30% chance or whatever. Nice, Nick coming in with the gifted memberships as well. It's going to go very green in the chat tonight. Thanks a lot, Nick. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah, Sausage getting the membership too. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that gives Sausage like a RNG multiplier here as a result. <laughs> I mean, is anyone surprised that Sausage got a membership? He, he, he has the RNG. Membership gifting is also a bit RNG related too, so... For once, Rob didn't actually come forward there. As you guys know, Brawl is supposed to work 60% of the time, but it seems to work more like 90% in his case. So, we got a bit lucky there. I would love to score at least one goal, just to get us off, off the mark here. Yeah. Once again, Caillou, you saw, he's pointed in towards me. Sometimes he kind of stays on the other side, and he doesn't come in, and so I can go right up to Nimrook, but... The way it is now, if I take another kind of stroke forwards, he's going to get to me. So now my shot is going to come down from 16, so I need even better RNG. Let's see. Yeah, so it comes down to 13, and that just makes it even more unlikely. It's You probably have like a 10% chance of scoring at that level. Your auto attack only series awesome. Loving it. Way more interesting than it would seem. Yeah, seriously, that the final line is kind of the deal with that series. It really is so much more interesting than I ever would have thought. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying it too. Okay, so that was our first attempt. Only lost 2-0. That's not too bad. We did have some really horrible RNG, so I'm not that upset about it. But I think the team is good. I'm, I, I like where I am tactically at the moment. I just have to kind of hope that the RNG works out. Uh... I am wondering though, should I swap around Waka and Datto? Like, is it worse to have Caillou with his 15 tackling where he's way more likely to get the ball even than Rob, but he doesn't have Brawler, he has elite defense. So maybe I'd be more successful at baiting him out and kind of not having to deal with him at all. Because I feel like Rob is just getting involved in way too many encounters here. So I'm gonna swap it round. I'm gonna put Waka on the left and Letty on the right. By the way, the reason Letty's also playing and he's he's in the attacking position is because of his good passing. Sometimes like they get left with a lot of space and that means if I can get the ball to him, he can at least pass to get me out of trouble. Uh, if Titus is there and he's a bit isolated, he just he can't keep the ball. So I think Letty's a decent choice there. He's not going to be dribbling with the ball anyway. So yeah, we're going to go with this setup this time and see if that is better. We're going to attack Caillou this time. See how that goes. Letty can pass through Caillou. That's true, but he, he doesn't have too much left over. Um, we need a little bit of good RNG for him to make a, like a pass of any decent range. <laughs> Try Titus and Gold can't be right. You know what? I actually was just curious about like their catching stat. Everybody else literally has a one catching stat. Wow, okay, that was a good block. I'm very impressed. Wow, okay. That was a pretty good start. Now, I won't let brother tackle Letty here. Okay. Brother straight away is on my case. 
Now, I can't take on Villager and Brother at the same time. Now, according to the RNG, the, the other risky side of, of doing this is that Villager, if you add a 50% to her tackling, it takes her up to 13. So she can sometimes take the ball from Datto. I can't break through her as reliably. And well, if she takes the ball from me in this area, it's like a guaranteed goal. So this is the kind of bad side of that, but we'll just have to try our luck. Why there's no Ronzo Blitzers? There's a whole team of Ronzo Blitzers. There's plenty of them. In fact, um, one or two of the best Blitzers in the game are Ronzo. <laughs> okay. Right. So now, because Caillou doesn't have Brawler, you can see the tip of like the, the marker is inside the circle, but he hasn't joined the, the encounter, so that's good. Um, this means if I can get the pass through, there's a chance that Waka could get his shot on goal here. And Rop seems less likely to sort of come across and try and make the tackle, so this might be a better way to do it. Let's see. Oof, just about. It just went through. So that's like the limit of my passing range. Ooh, okay, here you go. So... Rop's brawler didn't trigger here either. Look at those um, marker heads. Three of them are inside, but I'm just about in the clear. So this was pretty perfect timing. And now, of course, comes the, the classic shooting RNG. Let's see if we can get through Nimrox's 18 catch here. Yeah, elite defense makes Caillou chase from further away so you can bait him more easily. That's generally the plan. So we'll see if this is going to work. Let's go. I'd go to watch this in a bar. <laughs> Maybe you guys should set up an event like that someday. If you guys can do like a dance great community gathering in some kind of bar somewhere, I'll do a I'll do a Blitzball live stream for you guys to watch together. That'd be hilarious. I definitely want photos and videos of that event though. From the bar. But yeah, as you guys saw, uh, unsurprisingly, RNG wise we failed there. <laughs> yeah, you guys will have to sort that out amongst yourselves. Um, the the meetup. But this is dangerous now. At any point, if she shoots, we're screwed. So this is the problem now. Obviously, Datto is the only one left in defense. But we were very lucky here, and Volusia decided to pass foolishly. Hopefully, it's not Blapper. Ugh, I think this is just enough to get there. Please fail. Yes. Okay, good. Get the ball back. Excellent. Now, he's a bit isolated here. We have to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Oof. This is bad. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Yeah, if, I get, if I pass it to Waka, he's going to get swamped. So let's just try and get it out to Datto. He's more likely to be able to keep the ball. Is Datto fast yet? Unfortunately not. I, this is a reset data challenge, so he's at base stats. So he's definitely not fast. Once you allow like yourself to not be at base stats, you can make the game so much easier. It's harder to kind of build a good challenge like that. Now, oh, this is a rough one. I didn't manage to bait Caillou out this time. But I also don't want to give them the ball so they can score a goal, so I'd rather try to keep the ball and just build again. Did it make it? No. But I think Waka's the closest, so he'll grab it anyway. It's like an indirect way to pass to him. But I just didn't want to lose the ball here. Yeah. Uh, they're playing very defensively right now. Like, if you look at all of their players, they're so far back, they're, they're difficult to break through. Yeah. But Caillou's the person I want to have the ball the most because he's the least dangerous attacking person they have. Yeah, it sounds like you guys are trying to arrange a, a meetup, so I'll let you guys <laughs> focus on that while I try to win this game. 
but once again in the chat you can just see so many people from all over the world it's always so fun to see we've got costa rica we've got new zealand we've got the netherlands we've got the us and that's just like with one glance over some weird things happening in this half it's been a it's been a scrappy half here um only problem being that it's Caillou again that's like far out here. This is a problem. Uh, I'm not even sure how to deal with this situation. I'm going to hope that Caillou doesn't immediately turn around. Or maybe I just do this. Wooden Venom Shot, Poisoning and Fumble be better than Guaranteed. Honestly, poisoning Nimrook doesn't really do much that I've been able to notice. It really doesn't do that much. Like, it doesn't bring Nimrook's HP down to zero, so his stats halve and all that kind of stuff. I've never seen it work. And I've poisoned him a bunch of times in these attempts. So I don't think it's going to make much difference. Now, Caillou had the worst RNG possible there, and it's actually given us a little opportunity to break out here, potentially. Giancarlo, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Now, Brother will get in here, but I think... Yeah, okay. So I actually have a chance to steal a goal at the end of the half here. Caillou kind of got sucked into a lot of shenanigans further up the, the sphere ball, and he couldn't come back. So we actually have a, a shot here. We're definitely going to get the shot, so let's see how it goes. Let's see if we can do it. Right, come on. Nope. I think that's the third shot we've taken at him in this session, and he's saved them all so far. Ugh, that would have been a perfect way to end the half. It was like perfect timing. So the RNG not quite there yet. <laughs> Usually my name gives people dyslexic. <laughs> yeah, I, I did have to spend a, a couple of seconds just like looking at it before trying to pronounce it, but I'm glad I got it right. Yeah, that was a good first half. I, I was very happy with that. We, we were still unfortunate, but it was pretty close. And it's interesting how much time flies when you're playing Blitzball. It's it's already been like over half an hour since the stream started. It's crazy. And we're barely like through the second game. Yes, I am playing slowly, but still. RNG stands for random number generator. So it's just it's the element of randomness that's part and parcel of playing Blitzball. And well, a lot of things in Final Fantasy X. And Final Fantasy in general keeps things more dynamic, it keeps you guessing, makes, makes things less kind of formulaic and predictable. Phantom Cat Punch, welcome to the chat. That's a great name. But yeah, I think Veluch is just going to take care of business here. She completely obliterated us here, so yeah, literally nothing I could have done there. <laughs> Rubber nail grab. But yeah, you're completely at the mercy of the RNG and what the game decides to do when they have the ball. It's just, there's nothing you can do. All right. So, let me... See, the thing is, once you go 1-0 down, you just, you have to be quick. Scoring two goals, it's going to take me so much time. I have to score basically on this attack hope that they screw up, get the ball back, and score one more time, all in the space of three and a half minutes of game time, which is not a lot. So, got to move fast here. Okay, Caillou likes to take the bait here. So I am liking baiting Caillou on this side. It's working nicely. And Brother's a long way away from the plate here. So I think I should be able to get it. And four passing is just about enough. If, if Datto had three pass instead of four, like this wouldn't work. But um, thankfully, this strategy is working well. We've, we're getting more shots at goal as a result. So I think switching back over to this side has been good. Okay. Let's go again. 
Come on, we've got to score the first goal of the session here. Nope. Still no dice. Yeah, Nimrook has been very consistent so far. <laughs> it's when the cats have the zoomies and run by and punch you like a phantom. <laughs> cats are so weird. But yeah, I think this attempt is already slipping away here. I think Belucha's going to score another goal because she's on Datto's side, so... This is the risk of playing this way. Um, but the only player that can do what I'm doing reliably on that side is, is Datto. I can't put anybody else there. If I try to do the same thing with Jasu, for example, Belucha's just going to keep taking the ball away from him. So this is what I mean. It's just... It's so hard, it really is. <laughs> Quick pay Nimrod 1k goal for a goal. Knowing that guy probably wants way more. The, the ferryman demands a high price. You know how it is. Yeah, it's not been a good start. But it could have been so different that, that RNG right at the end, if, if Waka could have scored a goal right at the death, it would have changed a lot, but when that didn't happen, it was already game over. So at this stage, my aim is just to score a goal. I know the, the strategy is sound. I just have to keep trying to implement it and hope that I get the RNG that I need. But you see, look at Rop's positioning here. It's so good. He's, he's covering basically both positions. He's so smart. Like, he's not letting you through. Asshole. Yeah, this is the final roll of the dice, and it, it all just went completely wrong here. They defensively, like, were perfectly placed here. This is already game over. And he's with attacking as well. This is literally adding insult to injury here. Wow. Catalyst, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. Wow, okay. Good job, Jasu. But we're so far away from everything, it's not really going to help. Yeah, they're just lined up really well here. Look at that, like they literally only have brother chasing the ball and the other four of them are all sitting in defense. Sometimes they really do these like excellent strategic plays and I'm just like, this game is so much smarter than I give it credit for. And again, part of me thinks that even that is a little bit RNG related. I don't know how like strategic the, the game is with that kind of stuff. Like does it know that because it's in the lead it's gonna defend more and that kind of thing? I really don't know. That side of things I haven't really looked into, but it does impress me sometimes. But yeah, I'm just trying to end the game here. There we go. <laughs> Proud supporter of the Shoe Puff Riders. Yes, indeed. I love that name. It's a pretty cool club. Okay, rolling straight on with attempt three. I just want one game where I, I score the first goal and I get ahead. I just want to see where we go from there. <laughs> Brother chasing that ball like it was his cousin. Yeah, let's uh, let's not talk too much about that. He is a bit of a creepy boy. But this right here. This, this specific situation is the one that's really bullshit. What's confusing to me is why does Brother get no break when he when he quite clearly runs into Jasu and Letty? Like, that doesn't make sense. That's just pure cheating. Like, he, how can he not be in at least a one-man break in that situation? He literally bumps into two players, or at least one of them at once. Like, that's just... That doesn't make any sense. So... 
yeah, that's that's a definitely some bullshit, I have to say. But we did manage to get the ball back very quickly, so that's uh, that's a good start at least. Yeah, seventy six percent, still saying victory, man. You guys are you guys are motivated. I like that. It was really funny though. In the last session, I was getting pretty close, and then I had like that one really really close attempt. I think it was maybe like close to three hours in, and we kind of failed right at the last second. And you could just feel the life getting sucked out of the chat. And just like watching the numbers afterwards, the way people kind of dropped off after that, it was just like, it completely broke the chat and the stream. And I hung on for like another, I think 45 minutes or so, and then I had to call it. But it was just really interesting just watching the whole atmosphere change. Because it was like two and a half hours of grind and like trying to win. And we had the chance. And Nimrod just being an asshole. And then when it didn't come off, that was really funny. <laughs> Am I on the bench is missing from the ball. Lad Aussie, thank you for the kind words. More people saying that the auto battle challenge is more interesting than they thought. It really do be like that. Angel Remorse, thanks for joining us and catching this one live. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Now, let's see if we can survive this particular encounter. Yeah, Belucha's already close enough to score. Oh, boy. Yeah, she's showing off now. Whew. Yeah, it's already game over. She's not going to pass from here. Yeah. Remember to smoosh, smooch, etc. The line <laughs> Erica is the... Oh, wow. He nearly saved it. That was a great effort. Erica is the queen of finding fun and endearing ways to ask you guys to like the videos in the streams. But yeah, definitely see more love for um, Auto Battle series in the chat. I'm glad you guys are liking it. It is also kind of the reason why I didn't get to start the Final Fantasy X randomizer playthrough that I had planned towards the end of last year. Uh, the auto battle thing blew up and was a lot more possible than I expected. And so when that happened, I realized it was going to end up being a, a little bit of a series. And so I didn't want to kind of over swamp my time with Final Fantasy X and, um, and upload a bit too much of it at once. So. The Five Hands 10 randomizer playthrough has been pushed back in the schedule a little bit, um, and I will be trying to live stream those, hopefully. Um, and so that would be a bit more kind of consistent live stream style content. But for now, because we have the auto battle challenge going so well, um, I will kind of see that series through to its conclusion, and then we'll start to look into um, the randomizer. The format for the auto battle video is really good too. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like that. It's um, it's definitely a, a different way for me to make videos, but I have really been enjoying it. And I think it does present the, the type of content in a nice way. So brother being a bullet again here, but it won't be enough. This is like shot number seven or something. He, Nimrod saved like six shots or something already in this session. It's been ridiculous. There you go. Okay, finally. Wait, it came in with 16, and he was left with a 7. Wow, that was like the worst RNG possible. So he saved all of those shots, and then he showed us the bad RNG at last. Whew. Okay, let's hope brother doesn't hit right back here. Well, Tamara is in the stream, so maybe Tamara is the, is the good luck charm for this one. Who knows? But again, I'm at the mercy of what Brother's going to do here. He could swim past everybody here. Oh, no, come on. Look at those three players. They all have their... They're so... Oh. I hate this game. I really do. That's just not fair. That's just like... That is pure trolling. That really is trolling. I couldn't even touch the ball. I had absolutely no hope there. And there were three players chasing him, and he just went like one pixel far enough to not have anyone in the encounter. That is absolutely ridiculous. 
Yeah, okay, I'm going to wait for the end of the half here. Wow. Yeah, it just, you get that good RNG at last, and you work hard for that goal, and then within 30 seconds, they just instantly fire back. It's like, where was he this whole time? It, I really do think that the game is pulling a lot more strings under the hood than, than I gave it credit for. Like, the game plays a lot smarter than I ever gave it credit for. Because some things happen in certain ways in this game. Where you're like, you score a goal and that was the exact time when Brother played pretty much perfectly to, to be able to score a goal pretty much instantly. It's almost like they have that on tap whenever they want. And they kind of use it when they feel it's necessary. It's really interesting. But Nick going a bit crazy with the with the memberships. He's gifted out five more. That's insane. Thank you so much, Nick. A real champion of the community. But yeah, brother getting the ball from the blitz off here. Also not good. But this here being a no-break is still my biggest like thing that I'm not happy about. Because that one just literally makes no sense. It really doesn't. It's just unacceptable for that initial encounter to be a no-break. That was literally the main reason I put Jasu there, so that he could tackle Brother and immediately take the ball away from him. But the game just kind of pretends that he doesn't exist, which is really stupid. But yeah, now they're, now they're just going to rip me apart here. Wow, okay. You see, look, after what Brother just did three minutes ago, then it pulls a move like this, and you're just like... What? Ridiculous. But yeah, I'm already screwed here. There's nothing I can do. So now it's another game of giving the ball deliberately away to Rop. To force him into the pass. How much RNG is in Blitzball? Um, a lot. I mean, it, it can swing up to 50%. So it is a lot. Of course, if you have like the right team and the right stats and the right moves and abilities and that kind of thing, then RNG is not going to come that much into it. But um, in general, yeah, it's it plays a big role. <laughs> the blitz pool isn't water; it's actually liquid RNG. Yeah, those pyreflies are responsible for a lot of phenomena. And Blapper just did something really stupid there. No idea why. They've lost the plot here. So like, this pass just shouldn't work. It's just too far. 10 shouldn't be enough to make that pass. It just really shouldn't. You, just, you don't even need more than 10 pass. And you can literally pass across the entire sphere pool. I bet I could have made that pass if I had 10. We're getting trolled hard here. The next challenge is Blitzball Aurox only auto mode. <laughs> That's what I've kind of been thinking about. Not maybe specifically this, but actually letting the game run in auto mode for something. And, um, oh wow, she's well behind the halfway line this time. Come on, Keeper, don't let me down, please. Yeah. Literally, like, literally well before, before the halfway line. That's that's the furthest I think I've ever seen like the computer score against me. I don't think that's ever happened before. <laughs> Holy shit. That's ridiculous. Like it wasn't even from it was literally the tip of the marker was barely touching halfway. It was like behind halfway. That's wild. So yeah, again, game over here. But yeah, what I was gonna say is it might be interesting, um, I'm sure a lot of you guys were present in those streams too, but we did a stream where I basically got the community to um, to basically play Final Fantasy X and make decisions. And so the plan might be to see if we could try to do a Blitzball game where I let you guys basically make the decisions. So I play on auto, mo auto mode and then... Um, and then whenever there's an encounter, like I can pick one person per game or something like that or per half. And that person has to make the, the decisions of what to do and see if we can kind of beat. Maybe like do the, the Luca Goers game or something like that. So we'll see. 
Reckon you'll ever do a blip breakdown of how they code and script the blitz borders on the other team. Unlikely, but the, first of all, I'd have to kind of obtain that information. And it's not the kind of information that I can find myself. I don't have the, the kind of know-how to, to find that. So, Unfortunately, it would need to be some kind of person like P. Birdman or something that could go in and find all of that information. And well, obviously, that's asking him to do a lot of work. So, yeah, it's unlikely. Level 99 Aurochs versus level 99 Super Team. Honestly, I think once you get to level 99 with all the abilities and stuff that you have, um, I really don't think level 99 Blitzball is that hard, but I've never tried it. So um, I can't comment, but I feel like literally having things like Jack Shot or like Nap Shot 3 or whatever it might be, um, Tackle Slip, that kind of thing, I think it negates a lot of um, a lot of the challenge in that sense. So. giving me bad flashbacks of the chest and Omega runes. To be fair, um, we did take a long time to do it, but they were some of the most fun streams that I ever did. And uh, we, we got there in the end. We had our kind of epic moment where we managed to get all of the Omega runes chests for the first time. So hopefully we'll have a, a similar situation here. But yeah, this game's over. Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoy yourself. You were the first to play the P. Burman mod, right? I watched someone else play it and mentioned your name. What did you think of the mod? Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love the mod. The P. Birdman mod had been around for a very long time before I ever played it. And there were a few people that did little bits and pieces from it, but I was the first one to play like the more kind of closer to completed version of it, I guess. And yeah, it was it was it was amazing. It gave me a whole new way to experience the game and it was created by possibly the most knowledgeable Final Fantasy X person on the planet so I knew it was in safe hands in that sense and so yeah I thought it was absolutely brilliant and it was just a, an honor and a pleasure to be a part of that whole experience and to kind of give him my feedback and offer some tips and guidance of my own when I felt it was it could be helpful to the mod and that kind of thing so yeah it was it was awesome I loved it Start a new game on Five Nights yesterday because of your challenge series. Is it a, like a normal new game or is it a challenge of your own? <laughs> See you later, real. Thanks for joining us, man. Hopefully, I can th finish things off before uh, you return, but we'll see. There's there's still a lot of legs in the stream. I want to go for at least about two and a half, three hours. Uh, I won't make it like close to four hours like last time. That was a bit too long, but. We can definitely go for at least a couple more hours and hopefully get it done. You could try picking any leftover Blitz agents to face this team when you want to let chat play and decide. Yeah, we could see. For now, we'll spend one more session focusing on this and then I'll decide what I want to do. Because there is going to be a little bit of a wait for the randomizer series, I might try and see if we can come up with some more fun ideas for streaming. I'll quietly support you when I'm at work. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate that. Okay, here we go again. Maybe we get lucky and Rob doesn't make the tackle here. Oh, man. Oh, no, he halved his endurance. That's the what? Okay. I have to really make sure that he's in the clear next time. This time I'll make the end game with you and not work. I don't want to blitz ball again. <laughs> yeah, it's understandable. So now I have to be very careful here. I'm going to go all the way back to the start. And really try to be patient here. I think what I need to try to do is if I am going to score a winning goal, I need to score it at a time when even if brother tries to rush straight to the goal, he's, he's not, he's not going to have the time to do it. So, kind of having a bit of a slower, methodical approach might be wise. 
Now, Veluja hasn't stripped the ball away from Datto yet, but she's very capable of doing so. Even if it's unlikely, it will happen. Um, so we'll see when that does. Hopefully not this time. Good. But I really just got to... Like, the way that the team pulls back here, you can see Caillou and Rob, they're so far back that they're making it very difficult for me to find any kind of window. Waka's endurance has been halved here as well, so he's not... Um, he can't face any tackles. He's going to... He's going to fail if he does, so... Yeah, this is what I mean. It's just really hard to work it sometimes. You just cannot find that space. It's so crowded in there. I kind of have to pass now because Caillou's on to me. So we'll see if we can maybe get a bit lucky here. No, it's both of them. I thought I could get away with just having one here. How much customization do you have to Mod Blitz? Well, could you do a full team of the same character, for example? That's a good question. I actually don't know. <laughs> that, uh, that already sounds funny. If there was a, f a full team of one character, I wonder which one would be the best to do. It would be kind of silly, though, because if you don't have enough shooting, for example, for that to work, then it never would. But yeah, I don't know is the answer. Um, here again, I'm going to give the ball to Rop deliberately by passing here. Yeah, I was thinking full keeper squad, obviously. That's the natural one, but they would never be able to score. So, But yeah, that's kind of funny. Like a full team of one player versus a full team of another player. That's kind of funny. I could look into that. That's an interesting idea. So I'll try to keep that in mind. But yeah, Jasu finally showing his worth in midfield here. We have to get a little bit lucky, though, and hope that Blatter doesn't overperform here. Flatters, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us, man. Mm, I think I still got to pass out of here. Okay. Uh, I think the aim of the game here is still to keep the ball. Now, I'm just wondering if I pass to Botta, will, will the pass make it? I think it will. I think seven's enough. And if it doesn't, maybe... Datto gets it instead of Blapper. But yeah, I'll have a look at the, the whole Blitzball modding thing and see if I can get all of the same, like have one team of all the same player and then we'll go from there. Okay, that pass making it was good. Hector, thank you so much for the donation. I'm glad the, the playthroughs have been helpful for you. Appreciate that. Okay, so... Ooh. They did kind of rush forward here. But Caillou's quicker than Waka, and that's the reason I did put Caillou on that team. So if you look at the, the setup now, it looks like if I just pass to Waka, turn around and swim to the goal, it'll be okay, but it won't because Caillou's quicker than him. So then Caillou will catch him, and so will Brother from midfield, so it's not going to work. It's kind of like a trap almost. So I will pass to... Uh, I'll pass to Datto, try to draw out Caillou, and then hope that he can play it through to Waka. And it would be very, very good timing if I can get this right. Okay. So you guys see that? I created space for, for Waka. Now I'm going to play it through to him, and I think Brother will be the only one that can catch him. I think even though um, Caillou's quicker than him, I think the gap is, is far enough that Waka should be able to make this. So I need him to just make a run, well, make a swim for the goal. Let's go. So watching out for Caillou here. He is slowly gaining on me. But I think I'm okay. Yes, okay, perfect. So if this goes in, we have a very real chance of making this happen. Let's see. Alright, here we go. This is big. This is like a very real chance here. There you go! Okay, yes. Another terrible performance by Nimrook. Ooh, okay. Now it's, now it's getting interesting. Is this the second half? This is the second half, right? I hope it's the second half. I feel like it is. 
Because we, we had a with, with a tackle, no? I think Brother's on a tear, though. Brother's on a tear. He's got enough time to score that goal. But Jasu's on to him. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's done it again. He's done it again. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at how, look at this. How clutch is this? With six game seconds to go. But you saw how brother behaved there after I scored the goal. No one can tell me that that's not pre-programmed. No one can tell me that that's not pre-programmed. There's something there where the game knows that that's a particular situation. And it makes brother play a different way. But thankfully that was only the first half. So we've got a chance here still. But that was like... He literally, he's done that twice in a row already in the session where he immediately just breaks through and he scored in exactly the same way as he did last last time. So, yeah, that was, uh, it's not even, at that stage, it's not even RNG. It's the way that the, that the game makes the player move and the decisions that it makes as well. It's really interesting. Ugh, that was frustrating. See you later, Mike. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. If it's a frequent thing, that's not a coincidence. Yeah, we saw basically two of the exact same goal as an immediate as an immediate reply to me scoring. So I don't know. To me, that's not that's not coincidence. But yeah, in an ideal world, um, I'd love to be able to kind of find out myself or have someone like P Birdman really get to the bottom of Blitzball mechanics, but. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's going to have to be some other hero of the community to dive into that stuff and take some time to figure it out. Oh. Everything had come together so perfectly. Like, the way I created space for Waka and the way he burst through, I was like, this is just excellent. And it was literally like a long pass from Dado, and it was a glorious moment, and then Brother just completely stripped it away again. He's the worst. Something I've noticed over the years, when trying to outswim an opponent, it seems better to swim in a straight line. Yeah, it is. That, I think that's definitely true. But because I, again, I need to go, I need to directly be in front of Nimrook, so I can't kind of just swim in a straight line, because I'll eventually have to turn in towards him to get right in front, and then it just doesn't work. So, unfortunately, I think you're right, but I'm not sure it helps that much here. Yeah, Rop's protecting that middle area again. Mm. I kind of would prefer to make the pass to Jasu here, but I don't think the pass is going to work. And if it doesn't, Brother's going to get the ball. Uh, yeah, I think that's pushing it. I, I'll have to give it to Waka. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually going to still try to go to Jasu here. Because there's just no point trying to push for a goal here with Waka. He's just not going to be able to do it. So let's try to keep the ball. Again, same as like the, the first half. We were very patient in the first half. And ultimately, it worked. Now, I could take a risk here and try to drag Brother and Rop out even further. But... If he takes the ball from Jesu, it's a guaranteed goal. So I don't want to throw away. I don't want to throw it away right now. Now, Letty has good passing. So there's a little pocket of space that I could maybe engineer here to get it to Waka. No. You see how quickly Caillou came back to cover? Ugh, it's just so hard to find space. He's just marked directly by Caillou. You see how far back they've pulled. They're just really defending well. I'm trying to kind of push and pull their team to create space here, but that's tough. I'm watching the 7 Remake playthrough and I'm cracking up all the 510 quotes throughout. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what I do. It's not a dance great playthrough if there's no references in there. But yeah, Caillou's just... He's doing an absolutely fantastic job of marking Walker. He's just not letting him go anywhere. Yes, Saul, welcome to the stream. 
I'm imagining we aren't using the glitch. Yeah, we're not using the glitch. Um, I've already basically won using the glitch, but for me, it's just it's not fun enough. It's not a realistic enough way to, to play the game. So I prefer to not exploit it, but they're just being absolutely annoying right now. Oh. I'm kind of stuck at the moment. I'm going around in circles, but... If Rop doesn't turn around here, oh no. Yeah, I went too far out. I thought I could make that pass. But you see what I mean? They're just sometimes when they sit back like that. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, fine. Who is this to? Oh, it had to be to Velucha. Velucha's the worst. Yeah, that's another good example. I love it how all the save points in the Final Fantasy games turn to save spheres when you play them. Absolutely. That's something I noticed um, a, a long time ago. But then I was like, you know what? I'm sticking to that. I'm not going to change it. So I do often still say save spheres, even though it's a save point. But yeah, unfortunately, they just would not give me any space. I, I tried two or three times to find space, and they just kept shutting it down. But yeah, the chat is getting busy. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not planning on changing that anytime soon. Chess, even though 13 has spheres. Can you have spherical chess? Do chess have to be a certain shape? Can they not just be like modern looking spherical chests? Surely you can give me that. So, Walker breaks enemy knives again, but this is an example of what can happen. Actually, Ooh, it's going to be tight. Brother will get there, but I'm not sure if Caillou will enter the mix. No, okay, good. So sometimes they do get hyper-aggressive and they give you this opportunity to break through. It's literally Brother's only saving grace that his uh, tackling isn't that high. But still, not quite enough, unfortunately. How have you been finding Crisis Core? Has it lived up to your expectations? To be honest, yeah, it did. Um, without spoiling like the rest of the the playthrough too much, because obviously I'm still uploading it. But overall, I definitely had a had a good time with it. Um, did enjoy myself. I didn't like the the kind of mission to story ratio, and it left me wanting more. Like what I did get from the the story portion of the game was actually a lot of fun, um, and I really did enjoy the gameplay. And I feel like it was a, a really well made kind of remaster make for a PSP game so uh, there was a it has a lot going for it I think um, great cast of characters a lot of charismatic cool figures in the game and stuff as well but yeah it definitely has its issues as well which um, I'll definitely talk more about in the playthrough as well but I would say I would say it lived up to my expectations yeah I wasn't expecting it to be like absolutely phenomenal like you know up there as one of the absolute best Final Fantasies of all time compared to the non-spin-off games and stuff. But um, I was expecting a, a fun game, and that's what I got. So, yeah. So, unfortunately, guys, another game bites the dust. It was looking really good, but that, again, that brother, that pesky brother scoring with, like, six seconds to go in the half is absolutely brutal. Joe Dan, welcome to the Shoe Puff Riders. Thanks for joining us. Oh, wow. I've got to reset. <laughs> I think. <laughs> i got to reload my save. I had too many games back to back. Let me just speed things up here. That's why the music's going fast. On emulator, these things just take so long sometimes, like the loading screens and stuff. You just toggle the, the turbo mode and it goes by more quickly. See you later, Sarah. Thanks for joining us anyway, and thank you for the donation. Hopefully you can catch the, the rest of the stream later and maybe even see a win. Damn, Elno with the massive donation once again. Thank you so much, Elno. Long time, big supporter of the channel. Really appreciate that. 
massively. Thank you so much. Okay. So, how was I set up? Let me remember here. I have to do this again. Um, Waka. Letty. Sue. Dato. Also, Keeper. I think that was the setup. <laughs> the shoe buff riders were the friends we made along the way. Yeah, there's a lot of very cool people among the, the shoe buff riders. And of course, in general. Just very blessed to have such a great bunch of people supporting me in my fine fancy adventures. <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you, you need to change your name to L, yes. Yeah, when it comes to supporting the channel, very much an L, yes. A hell yes. How do you tell how long you remember? That's a good question, actually. I don't even know. I can. I have a screen where I can check how long everyone's been a member, but like individuals, I'm not actually sure. But yeah, I think Belucha might immediately come in and score here. Can you do the new game plus glitch on this version? Not this one. Um, not this particular one. This is the European PS2 version, so you, you couldn't do it in that one. But I'm literally going to reset here. Um, if, if I let in a go in the first minute before I can even touch the ball, then I think that's an attempt we're not going to waste um, time with. But yeah, if people don't know what the new game plus glitch is, I do have a pretty cool video about it where it's called something like the biggest glitch in Final Fantasy X. You should definitely uh, watch it if you're not um, familiar with the new game plus, well, the quote unquote new game plus glitch in Final Fantasy X. So it will quickly set back up because that attempt was just trash. Alright, let's go. Attempt 9 or 10. Honestly, I've lost count, especially including the last session as well. I definitely remember getting like a couple of draws. At least maybe like two draws in the last session, but this one we haven't even managed to draw yet. Just not been good. I thought this was a Steam version. No, it's not. This is a emulated version. I don't know specifically why, but I think I was just messing around with some save files, and um, it happened to be like some emulator files that I was using, so yeah. I think even Keeper can save this one. He gets a hand on it. Thanks, thanks Keeps. Coming in at a massive zero shot and he still gets a hand on it. Ridiculous. Alrighty. Yeah, I can't do jack shot, of course. Um, Titus is a base level, so he doesn't have level 3, so he doesn't have a tech slot. And because it's an exhibition match, he can't gain experience in the first half. Or, well, at any point in the match. So, yeah, no jack shot for us, unfortunately. But you see, Rop again, he closed the door. You see that? Ugh. Yeah, that threw me off. I was watching what Rop was doing. I'm going to draw Caillou out here. I'm going to potentially give him the ball here. At least Jesu is close by. Hopefully we can steal the ball back from him. Came across your videos. Seems like years ago. Changes to keep the game feeling new and fresh. Keep up the interesting content. It's nice to see another Blitzball mask. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Noah. Definitely, it's one of the best ways to keep the game fresh. It really is. Um, if you are into like challenges and that kind of thing, it's it's such a great way to get like a fresh new perspective on the game. It's It's brilliant. Now... Uh, to be honest, Caillou's way out of position here. Maybe I should just try and rampage through. Mm, might be worth a shot here. Have you ever done the Auroch shot? I'm pretty sure I did in an in a early playthrough.
Yeah, I mean, not every challenge has to be like a masochistic kind of challenge. I mean, there's plenty of challenges out there that don't require as much grind. And it's still like relatively challenging, or even like not as challenging. Not every challenge has to be like mega, mega difficult. It could. Oh, go away, Rob. Yeah, I'm kind of stuck here. I'm too far to shoot. It's it's pointless to shoot here. Did you switch Waka's side from the other time? Yeah, I did. Uh, to be honest, the reason I switched him was to keep him away from Rob. But as you can see, it doesn't always work. Come on, boys. Get some blocks in. Yes. So at least we're kind of keeping the ball here. Um, Botter's very isolated. And I have to make sure Blapper doesn't get near him. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Okay. Yeah, still struggling to find space. That's been the biggest problem so far. Defensively, they're just not giving Waka much breathing room. Come on, Waka, push forward, man. Go. Go. It's going to really go down the edge here, but you can see already, like, it's a, it's some kind of strategic play that they're doing. I mean, my attacking players aren't even that close to the goal yet, and Caillou and Rop are just sitting right in front of Nimrook already. So that makes them really difficult to get around. It's not easy. Are you allowed to hire players but not use them to keep them from playing against you? Eh, I feel like that would be a bit cheeky. It would kind of go against the spirit of the challenge, so it's not something I'm doing. But yeah, this has been a struggle. But I prefer to do this than to just take risks and to give them the ball because... I need to find a way to just draw them out as a team. Like right now, Rop and, and Caillou are still just sitting back. They're just not they're just not coming. And now I've run out of time to even score a goal. It's just Yeah. Whatever they're doing tactically in this half, it's just not been it's not been something I can deal with. We'll go for a bit of a Hail Mary here. This isn't gonna work, but There's not enough time. Yeah, we've run out of time. <laughs> yeah, Rob came out of nowhere anyway. Forget it. Forget it. Where's Laura? Laura's uh, out tonight. She's um, she's out to dinner or something like that. She might pop in later. Who knows? We'll see. But uh, she's not around tonight, unfortunately. Yeah, gameplay-wise, it is a two-dimensional game. I can't even imagine what it would have been like if the gameplay was three-dimensional as well. It sounds like it would be really cool, but I don't know. What time is it in the UK? It's 9.48 p.m. How many channel admins are there? Uh, Moderator-wise, I have a lot. I only have as many moderators as I have people I can trust. I think it's like, I think 13, something like that, that you guys would know. And then I have some other mods that you don't know about. I have some secret mods. So I gave it to Waka very early here just to get myself out of trouble, but... Um, Gonna have to take a bit of a risk here. The Guardian rule for mods, nice. <laughs> yeah, if you're not a mod, it just means I don't trust you, I'm afraid. Sorry. Okay, so let's go. So this time, Rop and, and Caillou are a bit more spread out, so this could be an opportunity here. You can see Rop is a little bit further away, so I might be able to make it work. Yeah, now we can unleash Waka. But I have a feeling that Rop's probably going to still come across. A mod for the mods. 
well, I'm the mod for the mods, but yeah, I have a few people that um, that kind of help out. They're not people that kind of frequent the stream, so I have almost different sets of mods. One for the 24-7 stream and a few just to generally help with day-to-day -day modding stuff on the channel. So we kept the ball here. That was nice. Oh, Rob, go away, Rob. Seriously. He was on the other side of the sphere pool. <sighs> so much for keeping the ball. Okay. Um... What should I try here? I think I'll try to pass and just hope I get lucky with some blocking RNG. And I'm literally going to fire it all the way back here so that once the pass comes down to zero, I'll still get the ball. But this is unlikely. Rock will most likely just pick it out immediately. Yesterday, I was on a Twitch event with a chat about Five Fantasy, and there was a few moderators, and the chat wasn't so friendly. I mean, we're, we're kind of lucky in that sense. Obviously, I'm blessed with just an amazing group of moderators, and you guys, as a general community, you've always been so great. And I think with us, the part of the success is that we've been at it for so long, and that's kind of helped us establish, I guess, a bit of a community identity. So it's the case that even when there's not a lot of mods around potentially on the channel, um, you guys that are frequenting are so knowledgeable about the general vibe that we try to strive for uh, in the streams and the community that you guys are kind of you're basically still modding um, collectively even when the mods themselves aren't around and I think that that counts for a lot so it really is a collective effort so if you guys are enjoying the community here you all have a, a part to play in it I think so yeah I was I was sneakily like almost having a great moment there until Rop came and ruined it once again. <laughs> I was kind of like talking about that while thinking, you know what, I'm actually like making progress here, but no. How did Rop get there? Yeah. He has Brawler. That's that Brawler ability. It's supposed to be activated 60% of the time, but I'm 99% sure that there's a, that's a mistake. Like the way it's programmed in the data, it's a lot more than 60%. But that's what I mean. I wasn't joking when I said I tried to make this the absolute ultimate, most difficult Blitzball challenge that I could. Normally, he doesn't have Brawler um, in the first half. Like, he's got it in his skill set, but it's not a move that they select for him to have. And so I changed that because I know that he has the ability. So I literally just made it harder for myself. But <laughs> I wanted to mod the stream, but I mod nothing. That is my story. <laughs> like I say, everyone that spends any time in these streams and in the community, you're all kind of modding in, in some way. Okay, that's fine, but we're kind of struggling a little bit here. Everyone's got way too boxed in, and it's too far for me to make a pass out of here. Um, yikes. So, Rob swimming away, and then that means Vilucha and... Ooh, are here? I just want to get a look at this. I'm waiting for the camera to pan around so I can see what's going on. This is a bit manic. I'm pretty sure if I shoot, Nimrick will either catch it or get a hand on it. And if he gets a hand on it, then it's going to be the other player getting it. But yeah, there's, n there's not really anything I can do here. Uh... Okay. Let's see. It's so busy in there. Um, ah, there you go. Speak of the devil. Laura herself is here. Welcome to the stream. I hope you had a nice dinner. I'm going to take a chance here and pass to Botter because that pass isn't going to make um, make it all the way to Letty. I'm going to take a chance. Ah, no. Wow, even Rop got in. That's ridiculous. But yeah, once again, I'm going to deliberately let Rob take the ball here. But yeah, I, I feel like I would have lost no matter what. Why doesn't Rob shoot? He should just shoot. He's got great shooting ability. He should trust it more. But yeah, we're screwed now. This 
that was just a really unfortunate place to lose the ball. That's a shame. I was completely locked in there. There was nothing I could have done. I couldn't have passed my way out. I couldn't have dribbled my way out and I couldn't have shot my way out. When's the next episode of Auto Only? It's I'm, I'm uploading them every couple of weeks. Gives me enough time to edit the episodes and to kind of um, spread it out a little more. So um, there was one last weekend. And so, yeah, not this weekend, but the weekend after. But yeah, I'm going to wait for this half to end here. Just keep looking at the chat. <laughs> now time to do a brother, yeah. To do a brother, you need to have a player like brother on your team. What is Waka's pass? It's three. Not the best passing side. Damn, so we kind of lost like at the death there. It was nil-nil the entire way through. That's pretty rare, to be honest. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> yeah, to do a brother is to blow on your cousin's yard. Yeah, stay. Um, it's two things you need to stay away from: summoners and cousins. But yeah, this no break is still an absolute farce. I, I'm going to complain to like the maesters about this one. I don't know. That's some bullshit. That's the absolute biggest bullshit. How that's a no break and Jasu doesn't get to tackle brother is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, that's a good pass, but now he's in trouble. Yeah, you see? He immediately just put him into trouble. It's a bad pass from Keeper. Of all the players to play it to, he gave it to Waka, and he let him get immediately swamped here. We have to get very lucky with the tackling RNG here. Let's see. Okay. We have a chance. We have a chance. Damn it. But it's even worse. Look at my player just swim away from him. Did you guys see that? They were just like, yeah, whatever. Yeesh. <laughs> Indubitable words, best. Sorry to show up three minutes into the second half of the stream like I'm walking. <laughs> That's why he's a mod, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Jasu, come on. Ah. But yeah, to be fair, you are about halfway through the stream. Again, absolutely scandalous that Waka did not get a touch on that. You know what? Screw this RNG. If he shoots here... Okay. This RNG has been atrocious in this one so far. She only had four pass, and Waka's two block probably would have done the job. Ridiculous. The RNG really hasn't been on our side so far. I can't say I've had a game where I've had notably good RNG so far. But yeah, this is shit. I'm abandoning this attempt. I don't like it. We got completely trolled there. So let's get back in. You can see even with 300% speed, that loading takes forever for some reason. The emulator is very slow with that stuff. Okay. <laughs> Back to the great RNG battle. That, yeah, that's pretty much what this is at this stage. And welcome to the stream, Kerry Fiend. Good to see you. Okay, Jasu grabbing the ball from the start is the RNG that I like to see. I still feel like to win, you probably need the RNG where um, where Jasu will get the ball both times from the initial blitz off for both halves. I feel like that's kind of almost essential but I don't know 
So they have been pretty attacking here. I should be able to get a window. But no, Caillou's pulled in really nicely there. So this might be tough, but let's see. Oh no, there you go. That's that That's that RNG I was telling you about. Yeesh. So even with 9 tackling, of course, she still has a chance of taking the ball away from Datto, who has 12 endurance. But I think I'm going to have to reset this attempt already. At this stage, we're not going to waste our time with these um, with these attempts. Yeah, forget it. You can see just brutal RNG here. When Veluch is stripping the ball from Datto within the first minute and scoring, you know that your RNG is not doing too hot. See you later, all two funny comments. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you in the in the 24-7 stream. Alrighty. Come on, we've got to have a good RNG run at some point. It's got to happen. We're getting towards that one and a half hour to two hour territory where I think we're, we're due a good RNG attempt. It's coming. So stick around. Because when it happens, it's going to be epic. At this stage, I guess it's been, what, like almost five hours of attempt so far? Okay, Jasu gets the blitz off again. That's a good start. Kylio13, welcome to the stream. I have been doing very well, but the, the RNG so far has been sapping my wellness slowly. Like I said, I'm not going to go too far beyond like three hours or something here if it carries on like this. Maybe not go too far on the left because Rop will position himself differently. Possible. That's something we could test and have a look at. But obviously staying more centrally means brother gets involved a lot more, which could also be a problem in and of itself. Oh. I, Caillou came out a lot more aggressively than I expected here. I have to take a chance. See you later, Dan Pollard. Thanks for joining us. Velucha got the ball again. Oh my god. I was so sure that she wouldn't because it happened once already, literally in the last attempt. That's ridiculous. Finally, okay, a little bit of redemption there. I will have to ride this tackle from Brother, but Caillou's coming, so if I have, well, not even good RNG, because obviously normally he shouldn't be able to make this tackle. If I even have average or not bad RNG, I should be able to get Waka through here. So let's see. Yeah, literally... Velucha, two tackles in a row, she managed to get the ball off Datto. Crazy. <laughs> Kai, you looking ass. <laughs> yeah, as I've mentioned a few times before, I, I call him Caillou because I have a friend in real life called Caillou, and it's, it looks close enough that I don't mind. But yeah, Rops, Brawler coming in there, I had no choice because I had to get close here. Again, have to hope for some RNG. See what we got. Have mercy, Rob. Yes. Come on, let's get a good start here. Oh. Meanwhile, Nick, the MVP, is still continuing to, to dish out those memberships. Thank you so much, man. Yes, a loaf of bread has joined the Shoe Puff Riders as well. Yeah, at least he's poisoned, but like I said, that's something I looked into before as well. And it just doesn't... He never, I've never seen his HP drop to zero. And as a result, his stats being diminished and stuff, it just doesn't happen, unfortunately. But we did get the ball back, so that's good. Um, they are being very aggressive here, though. Um, I still think I've got to give it to Datto here. Yeah, poison on goalies doesn't seem to do anything at all. Yeah, I've definitely noticed that. It's unfortunate. 
Uh, if we get a chance, we'll see uh, Nimrook again. And we'll see how it's affected things. But yeah, Caillou's pulled in here. Okay, she's taken the ball twice in the last two attempts. Surely now, she's going to stop it. Thank you. It's a bit more like it. Now I have to deal with Blapper, who's come all the way over here to try and take the ball. So you get out the way as well. Even with Nap Tackle, it's very unlikely. Oh, he gave it a good shot. So Datto, the battering ram, continues to do his thing. And he has created a window. So let's see. Come on, no! Oh, he's just too far away. Jasu's got that though. Yes. Okay, let's try. Come on. There's still time. There's still a chance. Okay, let's go. Maybe give Nimrook a loaf of bread and we'll have a chance of winning. That pesky Nimrook. Okay. So Rops, far away now. Come on. Yes. Okay, we got a shot here. So remember, I supposedly poisoned Nimrook previously. Look at Nimrook's HP and status now. So, yeah. Unfortunately, poison on the goalkeeper really just doesn't do anything. It's a shame. So, for anyone saying uh, poisoning is a good strategy, unfortunately, it's not. But we have a chance of scoring here. No. The overall Nimrod RNG has just been atrocious. And again, Rop, it's a really bad matchup for Letty. There's not much we can do here. Uh, let's see. Let's say no break and try to pass again. I still think that's the one that has a slightly better chance of working. But honestly, no matter who I pass to, it doesn't really work anyway. Ish. But yeah, overall, the, the RNG has not been good in this sesh, unfortunately. Still waiting for that good attempt. If Waka had literally any other special shot. Yeah, seriously, if his base shot was like a, a nap shot instead of venom shot, it would have been so different. But yeah, that was a good pass. Uh, if only they delayed a little bit more, I could have saved it, but I think he's going to score here. Look at Botter. Look at him. He completely left it. Okay. Thankfully, Blapper did something stupid there, and as a result, we get to go into the half at nil-nil. So that's not bad. Considering that things still haven't been going our way, we literally had two shots at Nimrook from point black range, and none of them worked. So. <sighs> Peaches Galore, welcome to the stream. Glad you could join us. Been watching the Crisis Core reunion videos during study breaks. That's cool. Good luck with your studies. Okay, that's half. It's been fairly low scoring recently in the attempts that I've been running with. We had a literally a 1-0, and now this one's a 0-0 at the half. I'll take it. <laughs> Yuna, please send all this bad luck. Ascending so soon, says the RNG. All right, okay, that's... This is, I mean, blitz off RNG-wise, this is nice. Very aggressive once again. I'm catching up on Final Fantasy V. I've been watching Parallel with Death Unites Us. Lots of great Final Fantasy V action. That's cool. Death is uh, an awesome guy. We did a podcast together. Uh, excellent content creator. Very passionate about his Final Fantasy. He does great work. Yikes. He is getting chased down. <laughs> like a thief at market. I'm going to have to try and give it back to Datto here. He's got completely swamped. Let's see what we can do. They really put the pressure on him. Yeah, okay, I can deal with that. Um, 
Then I'm going to try to pass to Jasu, actually. And see if he can bait out Caillou, which would leave Waka open, potentially. So let's see. Trying to bait. Eh, kind of worked. I'm going to have to try here. I kind of hoped that Caillou would come in towards me, but I have to give it a go. Ooh, J85 Norway in the house. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could join us. Oh, that was brother, actually. That was brother, right? Hmm, okay. I still think Caillou's going to be too close here. He's going to catch me because I have to go diagonal a little bit. So, I don't think it's going to work. He's just slightly too close. Yeah. And, well, of course, I forgot about Brawler Rop as well. <sighs> Hard times. That's got to be Sin's Toxin talking. <laughs> yeah, let me just end that poll. The majority of you guys said victory, which I definitely appreciate. I'd love to make it happen for you guys, but it's still not looking very good at the moment. And this is a very dangerous attack now. She's looking pretty ominous. Need Jasu to pull out something here. Come on. Yeah, okay. That was clutch. That was clutch. Now I've got to be... Oh, no. She turned immediately back round. I thought she was going to go further away. That sucks. That was completely my fault. I misjudged what she was going to do. I really thought she'd go further back, but she turned around so fast. Okay, we have to hope we get a little bit lucky here, I think. This is not good. Yeah, this is not good. The second she slightly turned around, I, I thought, yeah, this is game over. Unless Potter can save the day, he's our final hope. He's the final hope. Oh, that was also clutch, but he's, he's just stuck. He's not going to be able to do anything here. Ugh. That's what I mean. This team is so hard to get through, but at least we can give the ball up to Caillou instead. Yikes. But if we can somehow get the ball off him here. Hoffenheim, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. A pass to Rob? What the f... Wow, I was looking at the chat, I didn't even realize what was going on. So, Waka, book it, man. Go, 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 go. I can make the pass to you. Nah. Okay. He's still a bit too slow, man. But I think that's brother, ne is that brother next to him? And not Caillou? I don't know. If it's brother, then we can score. Potentially. Is that brother next to him? I mean, like, if I pass to Waka, is the closest player to Waka going to be brother? Absolutely loving your current challenge run in Five Minutes 10. Do you plan to do more challenge runs in the future? I do, actually. But um, there's still a lot to do. Caillou is the right most. He just did that. But I think I can. I'm going to try this pass here. This was... i got to go for this one. If that is brother, then there's a chance... Yes, perfect. Now, Rop is in an awkward position. I think if he has Brawler, he could definitely get to me. But other than him, I have a chance here. I have to get close. Yes. I had to I had to do that. Oh, so frustrating. You have no choice because even if you're a tiny bit out, the game is very cruel and it makes your shot stack go down so much faster than it does when the computer shoots. So it's really unfair in that regard. You have to go right up here. Otherwise, your already unfavorable RNG just gets way worse. So we have to try to take this, and we just can't. That's just so ugh, so mean. Really, really mean. But Jasu and, and Letty could claim this. Oh, that's unlucky. How is that a no-break? They pull some stuff out of their ass. They really do. There's no way that's a no-break. There's two guys that were very clearly on him. 
very clearly on him. And this is just some absolute bullshit right here. So you're just going to shoot and score now. That's just unfair. <sighs> yeah, keep her with a uh, typical two catch there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I went from a position where I could have scored to get absolutely trolled and letting him go. Ridiculous. Yeah, two catch number three. Yeah, I think after this session, we we need some like better investigation about what the hell's going on with um, with the Blitzball RNG. I feel like there's some stuff that we don't know about at this point. I don't know. But yeah, this attempt's gone as well. Another low-scoring encounter here. I keep having these kind of glimpses of a chance to kind of steal the game, but it's not happening. Kind of weird that Waka claimed that ball. I swear Caillou was close to the goal, but okay. <laughs> I'm going to invent a goddamn time machine and get the <laughs> person who designed Brawler fired. Brawler's been absolutely horrific. I'm kind of a bit mad at myself. If I didn't give Rock Brawler, I don't think anyone would have noticed. I literally made it so much harder for myself. It's my fault. I should fire myself. For the record, no seven catcher, including last time. So theoretically, the odds of him getting a seven catch and the odds of him getting a two catch should be the same. But we've seen two happen maybe five, six times at least across the two sessions, and we've never seen a seven. So I don't know. Maybe that RNG stuff is just bullshit. It's lying. Whatever information is publicly available at this point about RNG is wrong. I don't know. If anyone's willing to do the research, I'm more than happy to present <laughs> the findings. Yeah, I think he saved a six to his credit. I have seen sixes, but I've never seen him save a seven. Or like at least let in a goal having tried to save with a seven. He could have rolled it when he caught one. Yeah, that's true. But still, I mean, everything he's missed at this point, um, I feel like we should have seen a seven. A clear seven. <laughs> Keeper's been practicing for his 99 shot stat instead of catch being over two. That's true. Go away, Rop. Okay, good. Come on. We haven't seen a goal go in for quite some time here. And we still don't see a goal going. There's literally nothing more I can do here. And that was an unbelievable pass from Nimrook. <laughs> Holy shit. Nimrook just broke the game there with that save and this pass. This is like beautiful counter-attacking blitz ball. I can't even hate on that. That was just that was just sensational play. That was just unbelievable. I am going to reset to save time, but that was like hats off to that man. You got to give credit sometimes. Nimrook just smashed it there. Nimrook is never this good when he's on my team. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That pass was insane. Keepers should have a relevant passing stat. Also, also true. I agree with that. I think that's that should be a thing. Whoops. Oh, I was looking at the chat. I need to start again. Stupid Tidus and his shitty blitzball talents. Don't need him on our team. It's a bit hard to concentrate as well when there's so much awesome generosity in the stream today. Elno gifting 10 memberships as well. Unbelievable. A whole new group of people here joining the Shoepuff Riders. Yeah, L yes, indeed. L yo, L yes. 
a legend. We have a lot of new green today. I think as a result, I will be looking at um, the emojis to see if we've unlocked another slot. So in the chat, you can start um, discussing potential uh, new emojis for the community. So definitely check that out and have a chat about it. I'll see which one. If we do have enough, I'm not entirely sure because the numbers fluctuate a lot. Um, but if we do have enough, I'll definitely add a new emoji. So decide what you guys want. Grump has joined the Shoe Puff Rise as well. Thank you. All right. Come on. Still haven't had like a proper legit attempt yet. Not leaving the stream until we do. Usually with these kind of things, there's always that one kind of definitive run slash attempt. Even if it's unsuccessful, it's like the one standout one. So we need that run. It needs to happen. I did fight the Yans. There's a... There's a Yan battle in the Five Fantasy IX playlist. I didn't fight them during the main story, but in the prep, in the run up to Ozma, I definitely encountered them. Yeah, thank you, Yasuo. Cotillion, they're just not paying attention. Er, okay. Now. I wonder... Yeah, I have to pass the walker. I'm too far away from everybody else, so I have to pass. I would love a nice wave emote for Grease. The, yeah, it would be nice if we had some kind of greeting emoji, but I'm not sure like what we could use from Fire Fantasy that would be a good option. Yeah, Rock being an asshole again. I wonder if Sin could score a goal against Nimrod. Sin would just displace all of the water and people would be just kind of flopping around like a fish out of water. I'm thinking maybe there's a tiny chance the Rock misses the block completely. Like that. Like that's RNG right there. But even there, I was still too far out. Look how close I am to the goal. But I was still too far out and my shot dropped to 13. So... Even when I got the good RNG with Rock completely missing, I was a few pixels too far out. And it just didn't work. Rubbish. But the love in the stream today is strong. Chundercat gifting one Dance Wave membership as well. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of new members today. I can't keep track of how many there's been today. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. Like I say, as a as a reward for the community, hopefully we've done enough to unlock a new emoji slot, so I will be adding that. You guys saying Trommel emoji, you're not going to use it. I know you're not. And Trommel is just like... No one likes Trommel enough to, to make him a emoji. You guys are just trolling me with that. It's not going to happen. I won't allow it to happen. You're not getting a Trommel emoji, guys. Yeah, I'd rather have a Yan than a than a Trommel emoji. Come on guys, they add up to eight. Waka's gonna pull a two here, I guarantee it. Oh my God, yes. Reverse psychology, dear. look at this. Look at this amazing breakthrough here. This is gonna be the one, this is gonna be the one. He's already inside the goal. He's already kicked it in. <laughs> oh, man. It's been a horrible day. It really has. God damn it. Uh. Yeah. It's just getting silly at this stage. It really is. Have I scored like one goal so far in the whole session? It's been about 12, 13 shots at least. And I think I've scored like one goal. I had, like, looking back on the previous session now compared to this, I had a way better time 
in the last session. Okay. But hey, let's not let's not lose faith here. We still got the ball somehow. I've been I've done a good job of getting the ball back in this um, in this effort until Rop came and ruined everything once again. Uh, I'm gonna shoot and hope that he gets a hand on it and gives it to Letty. But Rop's just destroying me today. Friendly or mean Yan? I'm 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 okay with either one. I feel like having the cuter one's probably better though. Wow. But yeah, I've been giving it everything I have and it's just not been not been working out for me this time. And he's gonna get a free shot on goal now. Oof. Yeah, I think they're finally working their way around towards a, a clear shot on goal. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I've been playing enough at this stage that I can I can read what's going to happen most of the time. But this is a guaranteed goal. It'll be above seven, I think. Oh no, actually. Yep. Came in at six, two left. Another underperformance from keeper. Is this a PlayStation 2 emulator? The graphics are better than I remember. Yeah, it is, but it's um, it's been upscaled. That's why. I think it's like four times native resolution or something. But yeah, there's a few emoji suggestions flying around, but nothing that's immediately speaking to me at the moment. Yeah, this half is gone. Zanarkana and Zuzzle, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us. How do you like them dumb apples? Yeah, I, I feel like dumb apples are still a bit too kind of vague, I guess. So the 2B emote doesn't speak to you. I didn't see that, actually. Um, but I feel like I don't stream. I don't, especially for, for the 24 7 stream and the live streams I do, I don't do enough non FF stuff to really have something from like Neil Tomato. But it's definitely speaking to me. I'll give you that. So glad I could be here for the first live stream of the year. Been a long time fan. Love the content. Thank you, Hunter. Glad you're here. Enjoy the stream. I like Aerith. Um, I, I will look for something for Aerith, potentially. Emojis are, are difficult, man. It's like sometimes it's difficult to find something that works when it's on an emoji scale. Like some things are, re are really cool images, but... When you make emojis out of them, it's very hard to kind of tell what they are, and they just don't look anywhere near as good. So we'll see, but I can definitely look into something Aerith related. Come on, brother. The more recent emoji addition additions we've had, they've been really good. Seen a lot of usage out of like um, Ultros and the Marlboro and that kind of thing. So that's definitely been good. Uh, yeah, this is another one of those where there's just no point continuing on. But I kind of don't have a choice here. Aerith's flower isn't a bad idea, but I don't know about Aerith herself. Yeah, I, I don't know if the flower is going to be a bit too, again, like generic, because it might just look like a standard flower emoji, especially at that scale. So we'll have to see. But I do love like the Ozma, yeah, the Malbro and the Ultros emojis, they're fantastic. Okay, so hopefully Nimrod gets a hand on this one and that means Letty keeps the ball. The Omega emoji is amazing. Hmm, maybe we could have some kind of like Ultima slash Omega weapon type thing as well. 100% proc rate, seriously though. It's definitely been a tight game. Like the, these games are going pretty tight despite all of this like shitty RNG situations, but I just I can't break through. I haven't had any breakthrough RNG at this point. It's just not happening. Don't think there's anything wrong with the 
like the lineup or the way team plays, but just not been happening. So like this pass is just ten pass should never be enough, never. But it's always just about enough, or is it? Ah, oh, perfect. I think he was just slightly too far away, but once again, Waka has it, but there's just no way. There's just no way. You can't keep the ball. You cannot keep the ball. There's just really annoying situations where I'm, I'm getting the ball, but there's just no way I can keep it. It's horrible. But yeah, a lot of Ultros emoji, Uncle Ulti love in the chat. Anyone here believe the rumors of the fabled Final Fantasy IX remake? I still, my take on it so far is still that I feel like it's more likely to be a Crisis Core reunion style remake thing, which means that it wouldn't be like a completely from the ground up 7 remake style, but maybe like a really nice kind of upscaled, but much cleaner looking, maybe some new, um, oh Rob, you were literally Oh my god, man. Rop literally teleported over there from like Omega Dungeon or something. That was ridiculous. <sighs> it's just not going well. But yeah, um, I feel like it might be more of a Crisis Core reunion style thing where it will look different. Maybe they'll actually have voice acting for it, that kind of thing. But having like something like Project Memoria, for example, that hopefully you guys would have seen before, something of that level remade from the ground up for the entire game, I just don't see it. Um, but I think the other version is definitely possible. Maybe some gameplay tweaks and that kind of thing. But Rop is just... It's just the Rop show. It's literally the entire team versus Rop at the moment. This is getting ridiculous. I can't do anything. Every time I'm picking the ball up, I'm just... There's someone near me and I can't keep the ball. It's just... But yeah, honestly, it feels like it really does always proc. So I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong about the fact that it should be 60%, but it really isn't. But yeah, so that's my take on Final Fantasy VII, sorry, Final Fantasy IX Remake. But the same thing's going to happen again. Waka's going to grab the ball, but this time it's only Veluccia, so maybe I can keep the ball? Like a split second? Finally. Good grief. What a strange... Like, <laughs> set of events. Okay, finally. Someone who's a bit more likely to keep the ball. Is that Caillou coming at me? I think it is. Let's hope this pass gets there. Just about. Yeah, I don't know what Belushi's doing all the way back there, but... But again, I mean, Rop's already coming back across, or is that brother? I think it's brother. Yeah, so <laughs> look at the, the map currently. Of all those players there, Rop for some reason got involved, and the other two who should be involved are not. It just makes no sense. Sometimes it really is some nonsense things going on in this game. Are you streaming regularly on YouTube now, or is it every now and again? It's still going to be every now and again for now, especially when the Fire Fantasy X Auto Battle series is going. But once I hopefully start something like the Fire Fantasy X Randomizer playthrough, then I'm trying. I'm going to try and do something like you know, uh, once every couple of weeks more consistently, that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm not even expecting for Rop to not get the ball at this stage. It's 11-11, but he's got the ball like 85% of the time. It's just. He's just totally unfair. Yeah, I've run out of time to score now, anyway. <sighs> but I think j having Jasu in midfield has been a really good addition, actually. I kind of like it. But again, the defense is just too good. I can't pass to Waka and have a shot on goal. It just, I just can't do it. It's not possible. So... And now there's not enough time. <sighs> yeah. Darren emoji, except it disappears if you don't see it fast enough. <laughs> That'd be great. I 
I hope people liked what I did at the end of um, the Final Fantasy Auto Battle Episode 4. Where I just uh, showed just long enough to, to meet Doran. Short explanation on what Final Fantasy X Randomizer is. It basically uh, scrambles up the sphere grid. So it gives people like very unpredictable moves and stat gains and stuff on their sphere grid. So it turns the experience into something a bit different to what you'd normally experience. There you go. Christopher Clark noticed the, the little Durren finale. So yeah, that's the randomizer idea. To be honest, for, for someone who's played the game as much as I have, I think even with a randomized sphere grid, I mean, I, I probably still would be able to get through the game pretty okay. So I might just add a few like extra different nuances to the randomizer challenge. We'll just have to see. Oh boy, here we go. It's coming in at... Th Two, he's gonna save it. He can't go any lower than two, thankfully. But okay, we have no choice but to try and break the brother here. I'm not gonna take a chance with the pass. Okay. makes me think if you were a game dev, you would be all about those deep easter eggs. I'd like to think so. Um, I, I do love those little details. Come on, Caillou. Bite. And I think that's, that's brother in the middle. Oh, really? Let me... I thought I was going to swim past him, and then he was going to catch me, but fine. Okay. Free shot on goal. Considering Waka face the rock approximately 6% of the time anyway, do you think trying on the right side might be better? Letty can get through Caillou as well. Mm, I'm not sure how Letty gets through Caillou. His pass barely makes it above his block. Well... And well, there's always a chance that this happens. I think on the other side, it just that just doesn't happen. So I think it's probably still better. But this is a chance. There's been like 10, 12 shots since we scored a goal. And finally, it's funny though, every single goal that's gone in, it's been either a six left over or a seven. I think that's the third goal we've scored. And every single time it's been atrocious RNG. It's not even been close. So either he's getting all the RNG or he's getting absolutely none of it. There's been no in-between so far. So here comes the important part. Can we survive a brother onslaught after scoring a goal? We've Every single time we failed to so far. He shoots from the halfway line with 14 shot and two people to block it. There you go. Okay. So we actually managed to survive. This is the first time we've done that. Literally, can someone remind me if this is the first half or the second half? I'm really losing track here. And they're playing a risky game here. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> it's the first half. That sucks. You see, I feel like I know what they're doing here. They're like, hey, why don't you give the ball to Waka, swim all the way to the goal, shoot, and then Nimrut can just catch the ball, and you can lose possession much more quickly. So <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of being baited to have a try here. I kind of wanted to keep the ball for a little bit to, to eat the clock, but I think I have to try I think what hasn't happened so far is I haven't gone two goals ahead in any of the sessions. I don't think that's happened. So if we can go two goals ahead, maybe there's a chance we can protect that lead. It goes through. So brother will be back, but that's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. So here's attempt number two. And Rop stays out of it, thankfully. Okay, let's see if we can make it two here. Come on. We've had bad RNG against Nimrook this entire session. Come on. Ah, you see, this is what I feared would happen. 
and now I've given the ball back to them quicker than I would have liked. And so they could come back and immediately score now. It was high risk, high reward, but I kind of had to do it. I don't think I had much choice there. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There you go. Oh no, Waka's only got two block. Waka, your stats are absolute trash, my friend. You've been playing Blitzball like more than half your life. You suck. But thankfully, he still did enough. Come on. <sighs> okay. This has been really good play from the team so far. This has been the best effort that they've put in. I'm very impressed. And they're doing it again. They're doing it again. They're breaking forward again. Oof. Sheesh. I want to... I'm in a shit situation where if I hold on to the ball any longer, I would have had two people trying to tackle me. But if I pass the Waka now, he's just he's going to get swamped. He won't be able to make it through. So I don't think passing to Waka is a good idea here. I do wonder if I should try to pass it back to Botta and then have him kind of quarterback it over to Waka, who might have more space. I feel like that might be a better play. It would be tight because it's a six pass. But I think that might be the better play. So I'm going to try Waka, um, Botta here. Hopefully they keep coming and they all basically close him down. Whee, that's tight. But I think I have to try now. He has horrid endurance, so I can't let anyone get anywhere near him. So I have to play this right now. I don't have a choice. And hopefully we hold on to the ball long enough that they don't score anyway. So once again, it goes through. Let's see if I can do it. But yeah, Caillou is slightly quicker, so I don't think this attempt's going to work here. Yeah, I'm going to get chased down. But at least I would have killed enough time that they won't be able to score before the end of the half. So I'll take that. We'll say no break and we'll shoot. Probably kills even more time. Yeah. Okay, at least we can end the half ahead. I'll take that. Okay. If only Waka got that counter-attack breakthrough goal. That would have been so good. But hey, we're ahead. Everything's possible. It's been something like two hours and something. Yeah, two hours and 13 minutes. I think this would be a very good time to get a winning attempt. Let's go. Are you going to go for more defensive positioning? I'm not really sure that you can against these guys, man. And well, because I have reset data, I don't have all of the... Um, things available that I should, like the tactics and stuff. It's literally just like central, left side, right side. It's, it's all that kind of stuff. You guys still suggesting that I hide behind the goal. Have I taught you nothing? To be honest, I probably won't have a chance anyway. I lost the blitz off. This is what I mean about blitz off RNG. If Jasu picked that up, it would have been a bit of a different story. But losing the blitz off here puts me at the mercy here. Come on. That's good RNG from me again. That is good RNG, but uh, can I avoid both of them? No, I can't. I thought I'd react quickly. I thought maybe Veluccia would be too far away, but this is not good. Uh, I'm going to do this and just shoot, I think, to try and get the ball out of there. Oh my god, she just took the ball. It doesn't get worse than that. I didn't have the shooting to, to get it past both of them, but they had such an aggressive start here that I couldn't have done anything. With nine tackles, she took the ball, so it's not too much I could have done. Yeah, I, I feel like the game, it, it really does ramp up its aggressiveness when it's behind. It plays a different game. And to be honest, I have to praise it on that front. It, it's more likely, it seems much more direct and likely to shoot when you're behind. So got to give credit where it's due, man. I mean, this team is so much better than me. And it's a numbers game where if they were playing it the correct way, then they should beat me every single time. So in that sense, I do respect it. But it's a shame. 
That doesn't mean we can't get another one. There's still hope. Okay, Walker's starting to stir. Ooh. Look at Vil look at what Veluccia's doing. Again, look at this strategic play here. Look, Veluccia, instead of coming out towards Dato, who has the ball, she pulls in to defend against Waka. Like, that's just like, that just looks like high-level tactical stuff going on here. That just doesn't look like some random, like, dumb AI-generated pathways or something. That's just really smart play. I'm really impressed. Because, like, now I'm going to pass to Waka and he's going to have Velucha and Brother trying to tackle him. Like, that's just, there's something not right about that. There really isn't. I'm stuck about what to do now. I'm wondering if I should just shoot and then maybe Keeper gets a hand on it stuff, but I really don't know. I can't pass it to Waka here. He's just pretty much guaranteed to lose the ball. It's too far to pass to anybody else. Oh, this is rough. What I will do, I think I'll dribble. I'd rather lose the ball to Caillou. Yeah, I think that was probably the better choice. If Caillou takes the ball, so be it. Yeah, because I've only got four passing. I wouldn't have been able to make it. Okay, let's see. That's ridiculous. Oh. Sorry, there's a bit of noise going on in the house. I had to mute for a sec. I was also concentrating. But yeah. Game over. Ugh. This was a good run. It was. But it slipped away. That second half, things just didn't go my way, unfortunately. We had a really, really good first half. But the second half, it just... It really slipped away. I did my best to, to keep it away from them, but it just couldn't work. Two catch number four. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Muffins, for keeping count of that. It's good to know there's not just me feeling like I have bad RNG here. It's 
objectively bad RNG. So I think we'll give it maybe three, four more attempts and I think I'm going to have to call it because it's just not happening. I think what I will do for this time, I was going to potentially do it the last time, but um, I decided to do one more live stream. I will try kind of, I think, offline to try and win this basically and then just upload a video of it because I know a lot of people are curious to, to see if I can actually do it. And I'm very curious to know too, but I don't want to spend another potentially like five, ten plus hours doing it. So this will be about the last half an hour to 45 minutes or so. We've definitely had some close calls, but I don't think we've even drawn a game yet. Last session, we literally, I think we must have got at least two draws, I think, but... This session's been rough. Um, what do you think you would be more likely to complete? This challenge or the treasure chest one? To be fair, I think the treasure chest one took maybe about seven hours or so of live streaming. So, I would say they're comparable, I think. Comparably difficult. Better towels might be the answer. Honestly, I think a big part of the RNG was not being able to... Um, Jesu not getting the ball in the second half. I'm pretty sure if Jesu got the ball, things would have played out a little differently. As soon as he didn't get it from the blitz off, I knew that... I knew that we were in for some pain. Yeah, this didn't start off so well. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Bar <-ing -y. laughs> Thank you, Gazillionaire. Trying to get some people off Datto's back here. Yikes. You can see brother just being everywhere really does <laughs> make life so much harder. I'm just trying to shake him off, basically. Okay, finally. Disappears. Now, hopefully... Oof. Okay. Now we can launch an attack. Come on, market, go. No, they're all pulling back, you see? Like, the way that they've pulled back there, it's... Just smart tactics once again. I'm going to try and see if I can get it to Jesu. No, you see? like Datto's passing is weak enough that that's going to not work. I might have to reset this attempt if he just zooms through and scores. So I'll have to, I'll have to get through. Wow, shooting from there. This would be the officially the furthest goal scored here. <laughs> But thankfully, it's going to be impossible. So we're good. Now, if Keeper passes through to Waka... Oh, he... Come on, you could have caught that. Ah. Oh, God's sake. Wow, Venom Tackle? What the f... Okay. I swear he had Elite Defense. I guess it must, it must change from game to game. Yeah. 18 tackling, that's not going to work. No catch on a zero shot should be impossible. Also agree. See you later, Alicia. Thanks for joining us. See you in the 24-7 stream. Okay, another shot. This should be close. This should be close. Come on, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Now, if you miss it, then there's no point. Another four there from Keeper. I think it's fair to say that about... 80 to 90% of his saves have been a 4 or less, by the way, when the average should be a 5. <laughs> but absolutely terrible play here from the Besaid Orox. Showing why they're the, the worst team in Spira without Tidus and his jack shot. <sighs> I guess zero shots equivalent of would go out the field. That's why zero percent catch. Yeah, 
it. I don't know, man. I feel like the keeper catching it should generally still be... Because then the other... If a player has like volley shot or something, they can benefit from a keeper not catching it. So I feel like it should work. Just going to take Rop on head-to-head -head here. But yeah, everyone got their techniques now. I think because I've just been continuing to play Blitzball instead of uh, resetting every time. I think every game, the abilities they have change. But yeah, I just... It's all too much. I'm going to restart here. This is getting a bit silly. This is what I mean. If you give Caillou a technique like that, I think that probably works even better than Elite Defense. I thought Elite Defense would make Caillou more formidable, but I think... Even giving him that is probably better. Okay, so I think we will say final three attempts here. Where I don't, like, quit out early. So, let's go. Yeah, 18 attack is enough to take the ball off anyone in your team, 100%. Uh, mm, not Datto, I think. Definitely not Datto, but most of the team, yes. But yeah, Keeper is just an absolutely massive liability, man. If you're, if you're letting in goals pretty regularly from the halfway line, then yeah, I think your Keeper is a bit of a liability. That goal that Villucha scored literally from behind halfway was just comic already. <laughs> the decisions are sometimes very interesting. Look at brother. Look how far out he is trying to put pressure on me here. Insane. Okay, trying to release Waka again. Nah, he's already... Caillou turns so quick, man. I swear usually there should be some kind of delay. It should take longer for him to turn. He's just onto me in a flash. It's a bit of a catch-22 because I feel like I can get to the goal more easily from the right side if I have Datto and Waka on the right side but then Rop with Brawler is worse but then on the left Vilucha is tougher and well if Caillou does get there then it's a big problem so why does Brother claim that ball? What? He shouldn't have got that. Keeper deserves to be fired. Yeah he does. Yeah, I think we won't count this attempt. This has been trash. Unless he does something monumentally stupid, it's going to be a goal. If I see him shoot, then we'll change. But yeah, he's not that stupid. Sad times. I don't know if it's going to be one of these things where from the, the lowest point, we ascend to the heights and end up winning the game, but... See you later, Elno. Thank you for the massive support once again, as always. I'm still going to vote for Blitzball Emoji as sign for Keep On Fighting. Ball in your face, Team Spirit, Pressure and Aspirations. Want to be a Blitzball as <laughs> Just love how casually it's just like, want to be a Blitzball. What about Letty in midfield? The reason I don't have Letty in midfield is because the midfielders often get involved a lot more in like tackle situations. And so having a midfielder who can tackle well like Jasu, and well, his endurance is basically the same as Letty's anyway, and his passing is actually not too bad. So I think he's a pretty good midfielder anyway. It's a, it's a good position for him.
It's just been really, really tough. It really has. Just getting absolutely destroyed here. Oh, absolutely destroyed. Can I get lucky? Okay, about time I, I had a bit of luck of that type. Yeah, so I completely kind of fluked my way through here. <laughs> Again, I, I went as soon as I could to make sure Rop wasn't there. I don't think my shot will go down here. So... There you go. Okay. So first time we've managed to pull that off from the start. So I think that's... Ooh, is that goal number four of the sesh? I think so. Dr. Kane, welcome to the stream. Let's hope you bring some good RNG with you, because we need to survive this attack now. We really do. Come on, boys. Nah, not good enough. I think this is going to be a goal here. The The last attempt where we were winning at the end of the half, uh, that pass didn't go through. So it made a massive difference. Yeah, this ain't enough. Even if she shoots here. Yeah. I meant if she shoots without... Um, taking these guys on. She's still too powerful. So this time, unfortunately, we didn't get uh, the good RNG. And they come right back. I think Keeper pulled a 4 again, by the way. So his 90% rate of performing below his actual stat continues. Have we made it to OT in any of the attempts? Not, on, not in this session, unfortunately. In the last session, we had at least two attempts where that happened but unfortunately not in um, not in this one yet okay dragged Velutra all the way out this time Jay Kinpar welcome to the stream we are trying to beat this incredibly difficult team with the original Besaid Orox with their original base stats and it's proving to be incredibly tough uh, let's get Belucha out of the game. That's unlucky. That is unlucky. It's just not been going well. Steve is welcome to the stream. The HP stat is basically like their pool of HP in order to actually use um, their stats to perform moves. So if they have like 100 HP and their shot is 15. When they take a shot, it takes 15 away from their maximum HP. And then, of course, the abilities have their own HP costs and that kind of thing. That was like Belucha's fourth 12 roll in just what I've seen. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's the that's been the story. That's been the story, guys. Just absolutely atrocious RNG for almost all of the session. I'd love to at least make it 2-2 two, two here. That would be nice. So if you've got Nimrod to like 1 HP, he wouldn't be able to catch anything. I think his uh, catch stat halves. I think all of your stats go down by half. But like I say, it's not possible. Even if you poison him, it just doesn't work. So you won't be able to do anything. I'm going to take a chance here. Okay. Just about freed up enough space for Walker here. Let's see if Rop stays home. This time I think I'm too far away. I'm too far. My shot's definitely going to go down from here, I think. I should probably take a chance and just take on, take on Rop. I don't have a choice. Yeah, he's too far. Okay. See, when you're facing Rob, it's like double RNG. You need the RNG for him to not take the ball, and then you need the goal too. So that's RNG part one. Nope. Like Letty should have claimed that. Come on. 
Why does Rop get it? I, again, the, that's a mechanic I don't understand. It's definitely not um, the closest player on the map getting the ball. It definitely doesn't work like that. So this is why Jasu is in midfield, once again, for anyone asking. Letty would not have been able to make that tackle. And screw you, Rop, once again. I had a cheeky little chance to get the ball to Waka there, but wasn't to be. I don't think it's purely random, because I don't think it reflect, deflects out all the way to like one of the attacking players. But I don't know what the exact mechanic is either. Big and bulky Waka got low ATK. Don't know what, <laughs> what the hell designers were thinking, yeah. He should have a better tackling stat, but then it would have made it... Um, then it would have gone against the narrative of the Aurochs being a terrible team, so... <laughs> but like, two block, I think, and three tackling, just atrocious. So that was an eventful half. A lot happened there. 2-1 for, a, like, a half. That's... A lot of action. Napshot is a Nimrod destroyer. Yeah. 100%. It's a shame we don't have it. This time, Velucha won't catch me, I think. So I can get Brother out of the game. Just about. I got a little bit lucky there. But kept Velucha. Uh... Yeah, kept Belucha out. Right. Let's hope she doesn't roll a 12 again. Good. And release Waka. Again, Caillou turns very quick, so he might actually still be close enough to get the tackle here. No. Okay, good. Keeping Rop out of the game. You see, Rop didn't come that time. That's good. Let's do it. Come on, let's get a draw at least. Nope, this time just a, a casual catch there. I would like to know how many goals we've scored against Nimrook versus shot attempts. It's got to be something. It's like 4 in 16, 4 in 20, something like that. I think. Oh. Don't pass the blapper. I thought maybe she'd do something dumb and try and pass it to Caillou, for example. But no. Yeah, I think this attempt's over now. Yeah. I won't reset just yet. I want to see. Maybe he pulls off a miracle save here. But no, you see another two. This is the sixth time Keeper has rolled a two for his catch. So it's not. It's not just me complaining. This is. Plain for everybody to see. This RNG has been total trash. So, yeah, two more attempts here. This one's over. Seventy five point seven five save percent is very bad for a hockey goalie. Take solace in the fact that Nimrod might be the undisputed best blitz ball player and possibly able to solve world hunger, but he's probably bad at hockey. <laughs> Great. Yeah, that's why um, as Steve says, keepers keepers catching it actually goes up a decent amount. And once you teach him super goalie as well, he becomes perfectly serviceable as a keeper. Um, especially if the rest of your players are good as well. But obviously, with this challenge, that would make things too easy. And so it has to be the reset data version of him, which is absolutely horrific, as you, as you guys have been seeing. Go away, brother. <sighs> yep. 
yeah. So Botter is the, the worst equipped person to do anything. He just has to hope he gets lucky. Why does he roll a 2 when his catch is a 5? It's because it's like a plus or minus 50%. But when there's a decimal place, the game will um, take the, the lower. It will round down. So he rolls a 2.5, but the game treats that like a 2, basically. It's another reason why um, it sucks. It makes his lower bound and his upper bound worse. Yeah, I think this is a reset attempt here. This was just trash. So we're not going to count that one. Not wasting time with shitty attempts like that. <laughs> Have you seen Bottas hair though? I love Bottas hair. It looks super cool. If you set your save file to be right the storyline Blitzball match, would the enemy team be this All-Stars team too? I actually tried that. The, my original intention was to do that. Like if the final was different, how would it look? But um, it does default to the original Luka Goers. I couldn't get it to work. But yeah, I did have that idea. Uh, it would have been cool. But yeah, still want to have two full attempts before I finish up. Yeah, I'm not counting that one as an attempt. I, I quit out early. Uh, the one before that, though, that was a full, like, proper attempt. Um, do Malbros in Sin not a guaranteed ambush in HD remaster? Yeah, I think it's a guaranteed ambush in the Omega Ruins, but not inside Sin, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but to be honest, it is a plus or minus 50%. So that should mean he gets a 7 roughly the same amount of times he gets a 2. But as you guys have seen, he's got a 2, I think, 6 times now. And he's got a 7 zero times across two sessions. So yeah, it's, it's definitely not... Either it's just been consistently bad RNG for Keeper, or there's something there that we don't know in terms of the mechanics that's causing him to be that bad. I'm not sure. But yeah, another scrubbed attempt here. We're not going to be dealing with that. Lamel Kingdom Hearts 2, I assume. Welcome to the stream. I remember last time we got the technical win. Yeah, this time we haven't even managed a technical win. To be honest, it's been both of the keepers on either side. It's been Nimbrook having an above average. Because, I mean, 16 shot is not a million miles away from his catching stat. It's not like you need godlike RNG to even score a goal. But even with 16 shot, he's saved like 70 80 percent of them at least so nimrock on that side has been absolutely brilliant and keep has been atrocious so that's kind of been the story so far who is this Velucha? she has main character stats yeah <laughs> Velucha is awesome and I think she's one of those that she's strong at lower levels. And even if you carry it through to level 99, she's, she remains strong for pretty much most of the, the game. Okay. Honestly, I think you should probably just scrub any attempt. If you, want, if you guys are trying this yourself, um, I would probably scrub any attempt that isn't a... Jesu winning the ball kind of situation. I find it wonderfully alright that Veluche is a Besaid res resident. Yeah, she is indeed. She's a she's a heathen. She really is. She should be helping us here. Like, she needs to throw the game. That's why I kind of put her there. I thought maybe there's some kind of very weird Easter egg mechanic where the Besaid resident plays worse against the Besaid Aurochs, but it just doesn't happen. As you can see, she almost took the ball again. So she's just a total beast. Merciless. So I think again here, there's... Sh mm. Do I take... Do I take Brop on? I feel like Brother would also get in the mix. I'm going to try and see if I can do this. Ooh, 
<laughs> Did you guys see Rop teleporting in there? I think I think Rop is the like the biggest individual factor as well, I would say. Like top three factors of why this is so hard. Connor, welcome to the stream. Um, I've been obviously repeating what the stream's about the entire time, so hopefully the chat will help you out with what the challenge is here and what we're trying to do. Um, maybe we get lucky and rock pulls a five or a six with his tackling. I feel like that's more likely. Yeah. Rop is just, with that brawler ability makes him horrible because it just makes it so much harder to create any kind of space or free shots. And he's got enough pass to do this. And well, I have my shit defenders on this side, so Veluccia will probably score unless Jasu can get in there. Good job. Come on, do me proud. Oh. Yeah, this will go in because, again, two block from both of my attacking players. Yeah, and they're not even trying here. Yeah, another four by Keeper. So his goalkeeper average for this sesh, I think, has literally been like 3.2 or something. But yeah, I think I'll continue this attempt here because it's, um, it's coming up to three hours now. I'll make this a full attempt as well. They're flatlining. Can I get the ball through? Oh, this is tight. I'm going to dribble for a second longer. I forgot about Rob. I forgot about Rob. Actually, I am going to reset. I changed my mind, you know. I changed my mind. That pissed me off. I was so busy looking at when Waka was going to be free, I forgot the Rop was going to zoom in with uh, with Brawler, which, as indubitable Wordsmith has been saying, it does basically hit 100% of the time. It's not just me noticing it. Rainbow Muffins, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. I'll catch you for the next one. But yeah, Keeper 2 catch has been, um, like, yeah, at least six or seven times, like you say. I'm going to have an aneurysm. <laughs> yeah, it's been, a, it's been a rough sesh. It really has. Unfortunately, not every live stream sesh can be sunshine and rainbows. The, the last session was better because we did have like closer games where we had a real shot at winning. And this session, with that, even that hasn't happened. It's been crazy. But yeah, that's the nature of live streams. You just never know what you're going to get. I could have got godlike RNG and one within the first attempt. That's a bad pass now. Yeah, brother's gonna eat him up here. Oh shit, I forgot that he's on auto. Frick. Okay, we'll have to take a chance if brother takes the ball immediately once again. Oof. We're okay. Hmm. One of these where even when you get the early goal, the games are just so long that they've just pulled back again. It's just. But this is brother in the middle, so I might try and see if I can still get the shot in. I think I'm actually too far out. He kind of pushed me back a little bit when he was reshuffling. I think he pushed me back. Yeah, he did. I think Letty picks this up. No? Kai does. Rip. Oh, 
Why don't you keep tanking Volusia with Datto? Well, because you can't. She will get you eventually. And well, it's, that's literally the entire strategy, having Datto go down the left side and keep Volusia out of the game is basically the whole point. That's what I've been doing the last few hours. But when the entire defense, like the entire team pulls back into a defensive position, there's just nothing you can really do about it. Yeah. Unfortunately, all of these attempts are turning out the same at the moment. They're just, they're too strong at the moment. Things have not been going favorably at all. I wonder how the High Pelo team would play Blitzball. They would probably have to be the worst Blitzers, I think, of the bunch. They're kind of just slow, very chill, small as well. I can't imagine them being particularly good. But I still would have loved to have seen one, at least one High Pelo Blitzer. And making them like surprisingly good would have been awesome, but wasn't to be. Yeah, they're natural swimmers, but I just don't imagine that they're fast. But you never know, that could be like, that's what I mean. It would be really funny if they turned out to be super quick um, underwater. Now, I don't know what, what these guys are doing. Um... Just strange strats once again. I'm gonna try and take. Yeah, and then try and make a break for it. No. Just gonna keep dribbling through here. Maybe we get lucky. Yeah, get lucky we did. Let's see if we can do it. Nope. At least we have Nick in the chat who's continuing to be a, a superstar. It didn't proc true. I think it did in that time. Maybe it's because he already recently made a tackle. Maybe there's like a time delay for when it becomes usable again. Possibly. Alright, good job, Jasu. Maybe I'll be able to get one more shot on goal here. Gonna try and like steamroll my way through again. Have you had a run that was nil nil at half time? I think I did. I'm wondering if um, for some reason Rop doesn't have Brawler in this one. It didn't proc again that time actually. Weirdly enough. Okay. Let's see if we can get lucky. That's part one. Nope. That's been the story of the session, my friends. So yeah, after this one, I will definitely have um, one more attempt, and then we'll we'll call it a day. It's now or never, boys. Yeah, I feel like the Hypella would be like a worse, even if they were fast, they would be like a worse version of the Guado. Because like the Guado have the naturally big hands, so their high block stats and stuff are kind of funny. Like it's contextual, I like that. But um, the Hypella are just too tiny, like their block stat would be poor. Um, their tackling, I mean, they, they seem pretty slow and weak. Or even if they were fast, they're just too small, I think, to have a high tackling tackle stat. So yeah, they just wouldn't really work. Uh, the RNG hasn't been played around with at all. It's, uh, the only thing that's been changed is the team. So I, I put together this team um, myself and I reset the data. So normally if you, re if you reset data, <coughs> obviously these players wouldn't end up on this team. So I've had to kind of reset data, but also hack them in. So they're all at their base levels. So Keeper making a save there. Happy days. If 
before he gets completely taken out here, let's <laughs> rob out there shooting like Rodman. Rodman. This is a strange little setup here. Um, I might as well just pass the Waka, give it a go. I think, that said, I will stop here. It, it's clear what's going to happen. Lax, I feel like that's literally what I've been doing the entire run, no? Have you been watching a different stream? <laughs> Literally, Dato going down the side and doing pretty much what you're saying is what I've been doing. And well, she will get you, like one in every four or five times you try to tank her, she'll take the ball off you. There's been at least four times where she's um, she's achieved that, so. And it's also tough because multiple players come into it. So right now, as you can see, I'm using him to get Veluch out of the way. And yeah, he only has a plus three, not a plus four. That's also true. So this is literally this, what you're talking about, Lex. I'm doing my best to, to work my way around using Datto. Getting far enough down to bait out Caillou and then make the pass. But with Velucha especially, it's a bit of a risky one. But you see, they've all pulled back again. So they, they ruined the strat. Oof. Getting closer and closer. I'm going to try and make this pass to Jasu. If it fails, I think Waka grabs it. Yeah. Yeah. If I made any kind of effort to swim towards the goal, it wouldn't work. So, I'm going to go back. See if I can bait them out far enough. I think that leaves Waka with Belucha back there. Yeah. I think we've got to try our luck here. So this midfielder baiting tactic is also not too bad. It can work. But is Rop going to be there? He's not. I think he doesn't have Brawler in this half. I feel like it's been multiple times that Rop hasn't used it. There's something going on there. I'm not quite sure. It just doesn't matter, all of your like slick tactics and creating space and all that kind of stuff. It's just... If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But yeah, it really does make me think back to the previous session and how obscene the RNG there must have been. Waka making a good run there. I'm going to try it. I might be able to get through. Six is going to be tight. Yeah. Maybe he gets the jump on Caillou here. Just slightly. Ugh. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I don't think I could have played this half any better than I did. I've done absolutely everything possible here. And it's just been relentless. Absolutely relentless. I will actually go back and probably try to skim through some of this stream and see what the, the catch ratio has been for, for Nimrook. It's been absolutely ludicrous in this session. It really has. I feel like tactically this is one of my best showings. I've, I did really well to kind of find spaces and opportunities and stuff, but just wasn't having. I must have had at least three or four shots on goal in this in this attempt. Alas. At least it lived up to the billing, though. That's one thing I wasn't too sure about, because obviously when I was setting this up, the whole goal is to make it the hardest um, Blitzball match I could. But I also didn't want to do that many attempts, because like I wanted to obviously save it for the streams. And so part of me was always thinking, what if it's actually easier than I think? And I end up winning in like three, four, five, six attempts. And then that would have kind of been the opposite problem because you're trying to bill it as an extremely difficult thing and then you end up winning pretty easily. 
but um, in that sense at least, it definitely lived up to it by being the hardest Blitzball match that I can think of. Without deliberately, literally just putting all of the shittest and slowest players on one team on purpose and then like this team on the other, for example. Yeah, the last stream I really did have multiple opportunities to, to win where I um, didn't hide behind the goal. Just trying to create a little more space for Dato. Yeah, it definitely has been total garbage, this stream for the RNG. Okay, might be a cheeky little chance here. Okay. I have not been seeing Brawler, but I think it's because I've been continuing along. I think his abilities have changed. It doesn't keep it fixed. Even if I set him to Brawler, there you go. At, th at the moment, it seems about one in every five to six shots is going in. That would probably be, yeah, if this is goal number five, he must have had about 25, 30 shots thrown at him in this session. Easy. But this is always the critical stage here. You, you kind of almost need like a double big RNG situation here because the way that the game comes at you after you score a goal is so different to how it normally plays. And so he, this is the third time this, this is going to happen. You see, look how deep the arrow is. The two green arrows, they're literally touching the back of his and the game doesn't count it as a break. So you can't tell me that that's not the game just completely bullshitting you here. It has to be. There's, That's just... There's no reasonable explanation for that, I think. Okay. And that's what I mean. It already takes so much. It's like one in every five, six shots that gets you a goal anyway and then you have to hope and pray that that doesn't happen but there is something going going on there i've really been convinced of that in this in this session there's no way that's normal the amount of times i've scored a goal and then right afterwards within the first minute they just make a very direct attack towards goal and score i i don't feel that's right i don't think that's that's some bullshit Like I said, I don't even think it's like an RNG thing. It's like a, it's like a weird kind of. It changes its approach and like its waypoints or like how it handles the game. It's very interesting. I'm hoping Rop stays out of this. It's going to be tight. I think I'm too far away. I think I have to dribble and take on Rop as well here. I didn't want a two-person encounter. Yeah, I'm too far out. I have to dribble here. And hope Caillou doesn't come into it as a result. Okay. Got to take our chance here. Okay. Come on. Two shots in a row going in. That's the kind of RNG we need. Nope. And, like, why can't the deflection go to Letty? He's right there. He's free. Ah, this is a this is a bad pass for me. Yeah, this is a bad situation. By the time we get to him, he's going to shoot from, like, here. Yeah. This is going to be very close. This is where Keeper needs to actually do a 5 or a 6 save and not the 3 that he's been averaging in this sesh. Come on, save it. No, nope, it's another two. It's the eighth time I think he's pulled a two. So yeah, I think this will be the final attempt, my friends. It's been over three hours and we're not getting anywhere. The the RNG has just been atrocious. With RNG like this, I, I genuinely believe it's impossible to win um, with this level of RNG. It can't. You just can't do it. 
So I will make a final attempt to score a goal and at least end with a draw, but it's going to have to unfortunately end in disappointment. I would have loved to have brought you guys a, an epic win here, but I just everything I've tried has just not worked. They've just been too good for me this time. The best part about gambling, you always tell yourself it can't keep being this bad. Yeah, you're 100% right. But you got to know when to call it quits, man. Yeah, I've run out of time even for that. A shame. But yeah, yet another game where I lost by one goal. And the goal that I did lose by was a total bullshit goal that was scored within 30 seconds of me scoring with brother just blasting through and scoring. But yeah. That's the story, my friends. After more than six and a half hours of attempting this, I have not been able to manage it. So I think I'm going to call it quits here. Thank you all for joining me. What I will be doing, I think, is when I do have some free time, um, I will try to win this battle. I'll just record it and I'll show you guys a winning attempt because I, I feel like it's deserved after this much um, pain that has caused me over the last six and a half hours. But it has been a lot of fun um, in general. Thank you all for joining me and for sharing the experience. It's been it's been enjoyable to, to share it with you guys and to have you guys in the chat and have all of your support as well. So in terms of what the next live stream will be, um, I'm undecided at this point. I will always think of something and uh, we'll probably have a hangout, to be honest. It's been a little while since we had one. And so I'll do that so we can, um, you know, just have a general chat, let you guys know what's going on the channel, what to expect moving forward. and. Um, and we'll go from there. But definitely stay tuned for more streams. And hopefully I'll see you guys on the 24-7 stream as well. I do pop in there pretty frequently as well throughout the week. And of course, my lovely moderator team and the regulars from the community are there as well. So thank you all for joining me once again. I will see you soon. Take care. Have a good day slash good evening wherever you are in the world. I'll see you soon. Take care.